I'm so sad for women in Iran. My friend, I, I, I don't feel sad. I mean, people, people they, feel, they go through, uh, nations, they go through a hard time. All nations. You see this country, USA, one day they used to kill each other. They have a civil war. Every country in the world goes through very harsh time. Same as when the women she give delivery to a child. It's not a pleasure to be in the delivery room. It's a lot of pain. But when the baby come, happiness will be. All right? So the internet is destroying Islam left and right. Those mullahs, they thought they established an army and they are building missiles and airplanes, drones, etc. But they ignore one thing, that there is internet. And Iranian women, they are not the same as the Arab. Iranian are people of, they are an old civilization. They are smart. They are intelligent. All this is over. There's a big change inside all the Islamic society. Morocco, Tunisia, you know, all. But Iranian are different people from the rest of the Arab. Now, they are not Arab. They are Persian. You know, one day, those people, they used to be number one nation versus the Roman. That's it. There's two great nations, Roman and Persian. There's no, there's no, there's no, that even the third one. So time will come and those people will be free again. And actually, the good thing is that uh, because they've been ruled by Islam, the real Islam, Islam will be dead there for a long, long time because now they have the true experience of the true Islam, not the name of Islam. Like, you know, you see Islamic countries, you go to Morocco, they, they, they will keep saying we are Muslims. But the second you force Sharia law on them, they will do the same as those people. Islam can survive as long as you don't practice Sharia law. And the more people educated, the more people they will reject it. So like in Afghanistan, you know, most of the people, they aren't educated. There's no education. Like, finally, the American, they opened a school for women. But that did not live for long. And now women, they can't go to school. But in countries like Morocco, Tunisia, uh, Syria, uh, Lebanon, uh, 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 Jordan, I mean, all this is over. Now, all those women, they have phones, they have apps, they watch videos. Thing is, 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 is all days is, is gone. And not only they are not wearing hijab, look what they are doing, look what they are wearing. It's a revolution against Islam. This is not a revolution against a regime. It's against Islam. And what will happen in the future is going to be way bigger, just wait. Regardless of the regime change or not, because now the regime, what they will do, you know, because those Islamists are like a snake. What happened? What will happen now? I believe they will change their skin. They will go soft. So the storm will go through. You know what I mean? So now they will give them more right to make them relax. They will say, "Okay, okay, no hijab, no problem. Oh, okay, no. You know what? We will not make a, a dress code no more. Oh, okay, okay. So they will start compromising until those people relax, and then they will start." capturing them by hundreds. Already they have thousands of people missing. But this is all what this kind of evil regime they would do. So if those people are smart, they will not let them go with it. They will keep the revolution going. And they will not accept the compromise. But we will see. But I know what Middle Eastern dictatorship regimes do. When they see that the people are going crazy, they compromise. 
they make them relax. It's like, you know, you have a, uh, uh, you know, like you have a balloon, you have too much gas, it's going to explode. So what we do, we release some air. So we give them some chance to breathe. This is happening everywhere in the world. Like even in the, in the countries, they call themselves democratic. Like here in USA, Joe Biden, he went to meet the, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. He asked him a favor to increase the, the, the pumping of oil before the election. Why? Because people are upset. So they want the price of gas to drop just for the election. After the election, we go, go crazy, no problem. So always evil regimes, they do those things. Always. And many of them, they claim to be democratic. Even in USA, is not really democratic. In USA, like I can say that until now we have a freedom of speech, but those democratic party, they are trying to take that away. As you see, they censor anyone they don't like in Twitter, in Facebook, in YouTube, anywhere. They are they, they practice terrorism. This is an act of terrorism. The one we don't like what he say, we mute him. And they claim to be democratic. So what's the difference between the Democratic Party in USA and the regime of Iran? It's the same. Can you believe it that the president of a country, he himself, his account is suspended in Twitter? <laughs> you know, that is amazing, isn't it? So this is how our democracy is broken. They claim to be democratic. But the second you speak against them, their democracy is a hocus. They are practicing Islam on us. This is what this government in USA now practicing. But I'm glad that's you know at least now the Republican they are able to take more than 221 I think chair in the Congress, and we will see if the senators will be in our hand. So we can try to fix a little bit until this uh, Biden go. Uh, but what you can say. Evil is evil. You know, they always will lose anyway. When Obama, he was in the office for eight years, they start seeing in TV, happy holiday. There's no Merry Christmas no more. No, no, nothing. That's it. Happy holiday. And then Obama, he go in TV and he want to tell us about Ramadan. Suddenly the president of USA want to talk about Ramadan because he's a Muslim and he's a Shia. He support Iran regime. So this Biden, he is trying his best to establish agreement with the Iranian regime to sign the nuclear deal because Obama, he wanted to happen. But what's happening now is not helping him because how he can cover his shame by signing a deal with them when the people are dying left and right in, their, in, in the street. Otherwise, this idiot, he is just a toy of Obama and Obama is a Shia. The first thing Biden he did when he became in the office, he started lifting sanctions on Iran. One after one. The first thing. This is telling you what is the plan. And Obama is the one who gave billions of dollars to Iran and made them survive all those years. So the plan is really big. And the Democratic Party and you will notice that the Democratic Party now, they are more and more against Israel. This is the direction of Obama. Obama is still in charge. This guy is an idiot. This guy, he, he don't even know his name. The one is the president right now is Obama. So they are totally against Israel. Whatever Israel do, they are against it. They are supporting Islam and Muslims everywhere. Uh, Biden, he called the Hadith, the same as Obama exactly. And they are against the Christians and they are against the Christian value. In the same time, they don't dare to speak one word against Islam because this is their agenda. The agenda is to promote Islam to kill Christianity. Obama, eight years, he never allowed the White House to say Merry Christmas. It's only Happy Holiday. But anyway, you know, Stalin was not <laughs> softer. Stalin, he ruled and the communist rule, you know, in, for 70 years. And then the second, the second, they collapse, Merry Christmas is back and the churches are open. 
So they try, they think they can make it happen, but they cannot. They will never be able to make it. In fact, the more they fight Christianity, the more Christianity flourish. It's the opposite. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I hope you guys you have a good time. Uh, this video, you know, uh, I don't know if I will keep it or not, but feel free to download it, share it with your friends, especially if you are a Muslim. Obama is a Muslim, don't you know? Obama, his father, his name is Hussein. People do not know. Even in the interview, they asked him about his religion. He said, my Muslim faith. Go watch it. Search Obama, he said, my Muslim faith. By mistake, you might say so, but my mistake, he said the truth. What is the chance of a Christian person to say my Muslim faith? Why do you want to say that? He said from his mouth, my Muslim faith. Right? Yeah, so we know, you know, and uh, and then he started go and see how many times he speak about Ramadan and he opened a, a mosque. He have a room for Muslim prayer in the White House. He is the one who gave the holiday for the Muslims. So we know the, the agenda, you know, the Democrat agenda is to fight Christianity and to support anyone is Antichrist, anyone, anyone, any organization, any religion, anything. Whoever hate Christianity, Democrat are going to support. And I find it very funny that some naive Christians, they vote for Democrat. You are voting for the Antichrist, period. Barack Hussein Obama was a joke? No, he was very smart, actually. You see, the first thing Obama, he did, the joke was, was Trump. The idiot was Trump. Trump in the office for four years. He never replaced one general. The first thing Obama he did when he took the office, he kicked out all the big Christian generals from the army. And he replaced them with atheists. It was a Trump who is the joke. They control everything. The intelligence, the CIA, the FBI. They start cleaning the FBI from the Christian people. Only people who they are supporting the Democratic Party is in the FBI. People have no idea what the Democrat is doing. Trump, he was in office, he was worshipping himself, just busy talking about himself. Meeting with Kim Kardashian. What a stupid president. Trump is an idiot. He wasted his golden opportunity to make a big difference. He was busy with Israel, but not busy with America. He was busy with Qatar. And I believe he's a corrupt man. But we voted for him because we have no other choice. In this country, you have two. Either this donkey or this mule. Choose one. One will hit you in the head, the other one will hit you in the balls. Which one you vote for? Choose one. So Trump is not a good man. But he is better than those Democrats. But for sure, he's an idiot. He was smart only when he put sanctions on Iran. The rest is garbage. You know, he's good in economy, in the oil, etc. But when it's come to abroad, politics, he was like a puppy in front of Erdogan because he just have some property in, in Turkey. Very corrupt. He went in the front of the White House speaking about Qatar. Qatar have to stop doing, supporting terrorism. Right away, this time, three weeks after, he saw the more than 30 most powerful fighting jet. Billions of dollars. Few weeks after, Qatari government, they rented a building from his son-in-law. And they paid him $1 billion, 99 years rent. A pastor, he said, it's okay to visit a mosque in Jerusalem. It is Abraham history. What does that mean? What does that mean, Abraham history? I have no idea what they're saying. If you are saying to you that this mosque used to be part of uh, like something belonged to Abraham to visit it, go, yeah. But not to visit the mosque. 
you are not visiting the mosque. But if it's a mosque, just a mosque, no. Unless you want to give them brochure to accept Jesus and to warn them about Muhammad. Why not choose a Pence instead of Trump? Pence is the biggest fraud ever. Go watch his interview with the, with the CNN. He is asking people to buy his book and he was so grateful for CNN to promote his book. My friend, tell me who is your friends. I will tell you who you are. When Pence is praised by CNN, that means Pence is a piece of garbage. <laughs> and this is an additional thing about Trump. Trump, he never chose a good person to be in his government. Never. All the one he chose them, except maybe this guy Pompino, the rest are trash. Not even a single person of his choice was good. He is an idiot. Pence to betray him the, the 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 minister i mean have you ever heard of somebody he hire he choose carefully a minister of justice even that is against him because he is stupid he is stupid anyway i hope republican will not bring a stupid guy for the coming election to face biden because that means they will lose miserably but you know nothing is guaranteed in this country it's uh, it's about money the one who have the money he will be in the in the game the one who don't have money he will not it's not about the one who deserve but anyway you might get upset you hear things from me you don't like but i am a person who don't uh, compromise i say things as it is DeSantis or Joe Biden? Well, see, DeSantis proved that to be smart. For sure, DeSantis is way, 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 way smarter than the stupid Trump. And he will make a lot of Latinas vote for, for him. So I think this guy, he will win with big victory if he goes for election. And not only that, he is a person who proved that he is, uh, you know, he support the Christian value. He support. He's against all the agenda of the Democrat, and uh, they are afraid of him badly now. You know, they are afraid of him. Nobody is afraid of Trump no more. Trump is. You know, he lost his, uh, his, uh, his. Uh, let us say, uh, he's lost his gas. Especially after he betrayed his own people too. I mean, after his own people, he sent them to the capital. He told them to go. After that, he claimed that he did not send them, he did not tell them anything, he had nothing to do with them. He is an idiot. He is not a person to trust, to be a friend. He throw his people into the, the, the his fan, those who they are willing to do a lot of things for his sake. He throw them. He wash his hands from them. Anyway. The sentence he will be lost to a black gay. Really? Take care, Vanessa. Black gay? I mean, is it black and gay? Are you racist? Why he will lost? Don't you see what he did in Florida? <laughs> he is the only one who brought victories nobody have. Areas where Democrat, they never voted for Republican for 40 years. This time, not only they voted for him, but they voted in a massive way. People are idiot. You know, when everybody in all the states in USA, they were crying for lockdown, etc. This is the only guy he stands for against all of them. And he said in his state, he will never allow anyone to be locked down. And he was right. And when somebody says uh, Trump, he had many wives. I mean, look who is talking, Democrat, who believe that everybody can sleep with everybody. Suddenly you have to have a wife. <laughs> they believe that a man can sleep with a man. A man can sleep with a child. 
a man, he, a woman, she can do abortion. And now suddenly they are ethical people. You know, Trump, he have many women. Man, disgusting. Hunter Biden, he have only one brother. He is just Hunter. <laughs> I mean, do you see the hypocrisy and stupidity? You know, when we voted for Trump, we did not vote him for him because he's the angel Gabriel. We voted for a guy, he have an agenda. None of our business what he do in his bedroom. I mean, those people, they sleep with everybody. You will see every one of them, she have like a, a 10,000 boyfriend, and then they will school you about ethic. This is the truth. When they want, they are very ethical. When they want, ethic die. Like, how come they are investigating Trump and the friend of the Trumps and the cousin of Trump and the children of Trump, but nobody is investigating the son of Biden? I mean, the guy, we have a computer, we have his emails, we have witnesses, we have evidence. All of this, there's nothing. <laughs> if any of us have any of those things, he will be in jail from, from a century ago. I mean, not only they have his emails, they have his computer. Literally, his computer. And there is tons of evidence, crimes, tax crimes, cheating, you know, uh, not, uh, not only that, there's pictures, and yet there's no proof. It's a hocus. And when Twitter, when in Twitter once they posted something about Biden, what Twitter does at that time or did, they block the account. You cannot talk about Hunter Biden. Do you see how corrupt those Democratic Party? And this is why they are so upset from this guy, Elon Musk. He is going to unleash all the blocked people. They thought they are done with them. You know what? I hope this Musk is going to buy Google. He is going to buy Twitter. I mean, let them go crazy. Honestly, if he is going to stay the way he is, I hope he will buy everything. And he will drive them not more and more. And obviously he can. I mean, this guy is getting rich and rich and rich more. And the funny is, the more they oppose you, the more you get rich. Look, they claim that Twitter is going to collapse right guess what twitter is getting a lot of more users now because they keep talking about twitter <laughs> nobody talk about facebook everybody want to go to twitter to see what's happening in twitter <laughs> like you know zach and Nick, they ask him he asked him why you don't debate david wood and sam shamoon he said to them brother twitter i can debate them because i don't want to make them famous like you stupid ear you just said their name You don't want you don't want to make them famous. You just said their name. Like imagine you want to do you don't want to you don't want to do commercial for somebody, and then you mention the body name. So now they are talking about like you see the 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 atheist. They have articles. Twitter is dead, company, they stop. I mean, do this guy even care for your advertising? This guy, he owned the sky now. Do you know how many billions he make every day? He woke up in the morning, they tell him, we lost, you lost today 11 billion. He finished his coffee, has nothing happened. So what those people are talking about? <laughs> this guy, he can survive even if he make no money. From, from Twitter. <laughs> but because they are so upset, you know, this is what they do. They are the same as the Muslims. They frame you. They paint you as they want. Now he is the devil. He is the evil. He is the ugly. He is fascist. But if he is supporting Biden, he is an angel. Look, he have a dove in his hand. Look at his beautiful smile. Just because he is not supporting their party, they open the gate of hell on him. But they are in the gate.
and he's laughing. Yeah, you know, they are stupid and they are dummy. And I hope, I hope this guy will get richer and richer and richer. And I hope soon he will buy everything. Soon. I hope next he will buy Google, including YouTube. You know, in fact, the reason they were desperate to sell Twitter because those forms, platforms are dying. You know, Facebook, Twitter, they are dying. I mean, have you ever heard of a company making billions? They go and they sue you to buy them if they are successful. Obviously, they are not. They want to just get the money and run. But look what will happen now. Soon they will be sorry when they see that this Twitter is going to flourish. You see, I believe this man is really smart. The more he make noise, the more they write against him, against his Twitter now, the more his Twitter would do good. Because this is what you need. Too much noise. And the funny is, you will see all of them, they are striking against Twitter in Twitter. I mean, have you ever heard somebody saying, rip Twitter, but he isn't Twitter? <laughs> it's like somebody saying, uh, like there's a Muslim, he made a video saying, I am so upset from the stupid, uh, you know, you, you go there watching Christian Prince uh, debate. And then second day I receive a call. He said, I never heard of you until this guy yesterday. He said, don't watch his videos. <laughs> So I decide to call you. <laughs> and then and then he said to me, uh, well, I don't know. I found what he said is stupid because he, he is saying he watch your videos every day, but he is so angry because we are watching your video. And I never heard of you anyway. But he is saying that people who watch his video every day, I mean, he is watching your video every day. And he noticed that the comment of Muslims in the comment section, so he's asking why you are making comment and why you are watching his videos, but he is there every day. This is why actually I encourage Muslims to download my videos and to make videos against me. You see, the more videos they make against me, the more we do better. Because people, they, okay, Christian Prince is lying, uh -huh, lying, okay, but time will come and they will come to Christian Prince. The Muslim, they are the one who they are introducing me to them, to them, their own, to their children's. Right? Well, Steve and my friend, we are done for today. Sadly, we asked long time ago who would like to call us, but nobody called. We said the Christians can call because usually we take calls only from Muslims. Uh, but anyway, I hope this guy will not uh, bow down for their, their uh, threat because now they will start doing illegal issues trying to fight him by courts you will see just wait you know uh, they will do anything to stop him so i hope he will stay strong uh, <clears throat> no twitter will not ban andrew tate i will tell you why actually if you notice andrew tate is praising elon musk why because he is trying to get him, like maybe he will retweet his tweet. <laughs> the funny is uh, this guy, the prophet and Tate, peace be upon him, he worship himself, but he feels so tiny, small in the front of Elon Musk. He says, you are a legend. <laughs> what happened to the one who think he is God? <laughs> He's just, an, you know, this guy is just like a kid. He is looking for opportunity. He likes to be uh, a star, to be known, uh, to be famous. People talk about him. So uh, he will not be upset, by the way, if we make a video against him. He will like it. Trust me. This is what I'm about to say. Because his, his, his personality, you see, I like people to talk about me, but people do not know me. So you are not really making about me, you are talking about a person, his name is Christian Prince. But in reality, you don't. So it's just for the purpose of the mission we do. So people will watch my videos. But in the case of those guys, it's just because they worship themselves. They think highly of themselves. 
And the only way to feel that is about being so popular, people talking about them, how amazing they are. This is why you see how silly he is. He retweet a tweet of somebody speaking so nice about him. He tweet a tweet. He, you know, he, he's a, he have a mental issue, obviously. Uh, is Iran from Israel? Also, he has your God name in his name. Wow. How are you, Omen Kalf? He have his name, God, in my name. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. What is the name of your God? Kalf. You want to show you? Zucchini saying, this is the first time I hear about Zucchini talking. <laughs> sorry, my sorry, my sister, I'm just joking. Uh, so our sister here, Zucchini, she said, the first time how she heard about me. Uh, you know, CP, the first time I heard about you was because Mimi Hijab, when he debated David Wood, since then I am hooked up. Well, no problem. Anyway, do we have any other serious question? I think we are done for today. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this video or not. Uh, maybe I will keep a little part of it. But anyway, you can download the video and you can share it in your channel if you want all of it before we take it down. I think I will keep only uh, the part where this ex-Muslim he called, you know. The whiskey video of Tate is a three months ago. No, my friend, he just posted. Let us say it's a 10 years ago. Let us go with you. Just to show you how people, they, you know, they, they, they say things which doesn't make sense. Let us say I took a video of myself drinking whiskey 10,000 years ago. And then I repost the video today. Hmm? What that would do? It was just posted a few hours ago. So people, when they say things, it's funny and silly. Honestly, this is how I find it. It is silly. Even if this person, he have his video taken 10,000 years ago, not today. If we go right now, <clears throat> huh. like now, I just went to his video. This is a channel. And then you will see when it's posted. So even if it's 10 years ago and he is reposting the video again, that's mean he like it. <laughs> he appreciate it. Men are designed to be armies, gang. Are you going to say to me, this is 10 years ago? Hmm. And let us go down. This is 14 hours ago. People, they say silly stuff. I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, intelligence is a gift. If you don't have it, it's your problem. Look, look at this. Why you are recording yourself coming from uh, this car? I mean... And obviously you are renting them. And this car is a rent too. You don't own the, uh, the, the, the airplane. You can call right now. There's tons of airports. They provide you with a private small airplane. Why you are recording yourself? Because he is obsessed or shipping himself. Look. This is his breakfast. This is 
November 24th. So when you say to me, three months ago, I love. Let us see where is the video I showed you. I hope he did not download it. Uh, but anyway, in my video, I show when he posted. Where is this? Is 24. Look like this these days he's very active. By the way, music is haram. <laughs> Here we go. This is another one. In the this is three months ago, November twenty third. Three months ago. Let us see another one. Yeah, look at look at pictures he posting. November 22nd uh, with the Trump <laughs> I mean <laughs> Photoshop is very good and uh, where is the video of him it's going to be here soon remember this is three months ago right I guess we passed it. November 21. Here we go. What is the date? November 20. Hold on. My screen is not on by mistake. It took me, anyway, you, you did not miss any a lot. There's a lot of dirty pictures I don't want to uh, see. So look what this guy he said. What is what is the gentleman who said this is three months ago? Are you there? This is November 20. Who is the one who posted? He is saying, I have decided to fly to the field state of California. Walk into Twitter HQ headquarter to tell Elon Musk he is a legend. How that can be three months ago when Musk he was not there at that time? I mean, do you see how stupid people are? How he is going to California, flying over Elon Musk headquarter to tell him you are a legend, and that was a three months ago. Do you see how people lie? Three months ago, the guy was not even owning a Twitter. And this is posted November 20. So you lied to me. And look, brother. Amar Rabbi Amar. Whiskey. Cheap whiskey. I searched, you know, on my phone. I don't know what kind. I wasn't sure really actually this is a whiskey or not. So I took a, a screenshot and then I searched on my phone and it turned to be this a $38 whiskey. <laughs> Christian Prince, this was three months ago, okay? Three months ago. Do you see how we get your busted line? Three months ago, you liar. Who is the guy who said this is three months ago? Is he still here or in the, in the bushes? This guy, the tribal chief says, whiskey video of T.A. Tay is a three month old CP. Aren't you ashamed of your stupidity? How it is three months ago, and he himself is posting it in November 20, saying, I have decided, I have decided to fly. He's flying right now. When he posted this, supposedly, according to him, he is a flying. My friend, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Even if this is taken three months ago, he is posting it now. He is posting it now, November 20. So stop being stupid. Is he a Muslim in November 20 or not? 
when he is posting this now and by the way this guy is a liar he don't own private jet those are rent you can rent one too in USA those airplanes like a taxi the more money you have the more you take you know your, your size you can take a big one you can take a Boeing if you want in USA airplanes is just a taxi there's people they take the van because they have less money and there's people they take a taxi there's people they take a limousine same for airplanes so as you see it's in front of you so as long he posted in November 20 then your excuse is invalid and that's mean he is a liar too why because he said I have decided to fly to the field state of California He's a claiming now he is a flying. Now, not me. Where to tell Elon Musk he is a legend? Three months ago, Elon Musk was not owning or in control of uh, Twitter. And he is the one who's posting it. And you know, this is how sick he is. I mean, why you are showing this? What a big deal. What a big deal. This is what happened to when you are a trashy person and suddenly you become uh, like you, you have money. Honestly, only trashy people would do that. And how come Muslims, you see, uh, uh, when, when if, if any of you, like when uh, David once once, he posted a picture of himself and his wife, and I think the third one was Nabil Qurashi, I think, next to them, I don't know, a friend, and his wife in the middle, look, he said, he have an arrow, look, look what his, where, where his wife is sitting. How come the Muslims are not upset? This is November 20. And not only that, he posts that he is God. He is the only hope for mankind. And this is now. So stop being stupid and say, oh, this is not, uh, this is three months ago. I don't care. This is now. It's not three months ago. When you repost it, it's mean you approve it and you are doing it. If the man, he have a porn business three months ago and he repost a porn of himself again, that's mean he's still doing it. Why don't you support your own political brother event? the same way support man who insult him <laughs> the wise man yeah uh, look look at this Andrew Tate is against against uh, uh, bad stuff look at this I own the heart and the minds of a masculine youth the number one demographic the matrix is the most is most afraid of losing influence ever the exact demographic they attempt hardest peace up the matrix will attempt to kill me soon i will never ev ever kill myself I bought a, per, a Porsche 9, 908. What the heck is that? It's a showtime. Love you, Top J. He's a top god. You are the best. Uh, yeah, anyway. And look here, he is angry from a Muslim. His name is Sadiq Khan. Trump is dangerous far-right politician who has history inciting violence. Look what Andrade Tate is supporting Trump. Look what he's saying. London is shit hole. This is women fault. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, I mean, uh, people are funny and stupid, but you can do. Yeah, you are who you are. Yeah. But, you know, for us, I, actually, I never cared to talk about this good person. It's not even worth but because many of you said talk about him this guy you know i said okay okay let us see i mean isn't is even ashamed we're talking about a pimp is it better to focus speaking about muhammad the bigger pimp this guy he's just uh, I, I believe he's a mentally ill i feel sorry for him i believe he's coming from a very poor family and he is desperate uh finally he got some money in his pocket and you know he don't know what to do and i'm afraid he's going to end bankrupt you know when those people they focus in uh, in the in showing uh, to show off you know buying those cars uh if he is really buying them like why you want to buy many many cars that is a sign of his stupidity and he would end bankrupt uh, please that t is a joke but you don't even understand his english so please stop his about him waste time in my friend i don't understand his english uh, and as long as i don't understand my his english how come you understand someone who doesn't understand english are you talking about his english now or my english <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah <clears throat> but no it's good always to uh, to uh, uh, to analyze the behavior of a human being you see people who grow in a wealthy family uh, they will never be excited to buy to own a Porsche because this is what they have since when they're kids you have to agree with me right this is what they have always I mean what a big deal even if your dad he says to you I bought you a Porsche like what so so what a big deal you will not be jump like way a Porsche secondly what is good about Porsche? You live in a country, you can't even speed. You can't even go 65 and more. So if I have a car, my car is 20 years old, and you have a Porsche, my car and your car is the same. You see, in country like Germany, you can speed as much as you wish, correct? But in USA, all the cars are the same. You have BMW, you have Mercedes, you have Toyota, you have a donkey, it is 65 miles per hour. You like it, you don't. And if you don't, the police in this country, they are not shish kebab. They will make you hummus. So what, it's just a show off. This is telling you how stupid he is. You know, I have an old car. Can I afford to buy a new car? I can. But why I want to do that? Give me a reason. I'm serious. Who want to give me a reason? Why anyone want to buy a new car? If my car is fine. You see, you start focusing on those things only if you are not satisfied with your appearance. You care for appearance. As long as my car can drive and good, and I'm, I, why you want to change it? Why I want to be fool and lose my saving? It doesn't matter how much money you have, it's a saving. And even if you have a mountain of money, if you keep spending, you will lose your saving. Only fools, they buy what they don't need. Remember that. Only foolish people, they buy what they don't need. I know, like, I'm, as a Middle Eastern, we as a Middle Eastern, we love to show off. Other people, they love to show off. They are like this guy, Tati. Mercedes, expensive cars, you know, and they love it. If they, if somebody have, a, like, a wedding party, he have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they, they go bankrupt. They take a mortgage, even, imagine, just to show off. People who have intelligence.
they do things in the right time. So even if you want to do uh, shopping, do shopping for things you need. Like now, now it's a Black Friday, right? How many fools they will go and buy things they don't need? Just because they fool them and they tell them that they are cheaper. You see, I was watching to buy a monitor because I'm writing my books and I want to sit in the other room like now. The winter is coming, it's getting colder. So, so I start like saving in my list which monitor I'm going to buy. And I said, okay, you know what? Black Friday is coming. So look what they do. The monitor price, as I say, was $250. This is before Black Friday, two weeks ago. Three days before Black Friday, the monitor became 280 and then 290 And then they changed the price and they show you the old price, which the price was when the first time this monitor was sold in the market, which was maybe two years ago. $400. And then you look, you see, oh, now it's 249 It was $400. But in fact, they did not give you any discount. It's still the same price. It just to fool you. And you buy. If you wait now until the end of this week, you will see how the price will drop after Black Friday. Supposedly, Black Friday is when the prices go down, right? <laughs> Just wait. Because now, when, when the last few hours of the Black Friday is going to be over, they extend it a little bit more, hoping some more food will buy. And then even those fools in the last few hours did not buy. So what they do, they extend one day more, you know, like uh, the, the Black Monday now. And then in the last moment, they drop the prices, big deal, because they want to make you buy. I mean, that's it. Obviously, you are the last one to buy. They will need to convince you. The one who can be convinced easy to buy already is convinced he bought. The one who is not buying even in the last hour is the hardest one. So what they do? They drop the price in the last few hours. So they can convince the one who is very hard to convince. So this Black Friday is a scam. Literally. Scam. And you have to be smart. And as I said, I can buy I can buy a monitor, you know. I need it badly, and you know, it's not, uh, it's not uh, like a luxury for me. It's you know to help me to write my books uh, and to be more comfortable. Uh, but I'm not going to give them the money they are asking for. I will keep shopping and choose the right time to buy what I need. <clears throat> can you debate Dawa? My friend, don't tell me, can you debate this guy and that guy? I believe this is a stupid statement when you mention the name of a person. What about you bring them to debate me? Don't tell me who. Go and tell them, can you, what about you tell them, can you debate Christian Prince? So don't come here and play the drama. Can you debate this guy and that guy? How I know even who is this guy? <clears throat> I open my Skype. I invite even Mr. Geigo to call me. And yet they don't call. So what we will do? I open my sky for three hours, four hours, five hours. And then you say to me, can you debate this guy? Look, even Geigo is welcome. But he told me he don't, you know, he don't have a cell phone. He's waiting for Joe Biden to pay for his loan student. You know, he was in school, in the Geigo school. And then, you know, he now he have a case, by the way, against Geico company, insurance company, because they, they are using his name. He called you a liar? Okay, my friend, you are just promoting him, and maybe this is you. Get lost. The one who called me a liar, he called me to prove me a liar. Otherwise, he is a liar too, and you are a liar. Don't come here and say to me, why you don't? There's a million Muslims, they call me a liar. What I would do? Chase them? <laughs> Every Muslim says that. Are you bringing me for, are you bringing for me, see, in any news? 
He called me a liar? Are you sure? A Muslim and he called me a liar? No way. My friend, you just hurt my feeling. No way. I can't believe you. That is impossible. And this is why you want me to debate him? That's deep. That's deep and steep. Hey, Geico, what do you think? I mean, you have a look I don't like. What, what are you trying to say? A Muslim, he called me a liar. What do you think? What this is smile is about? Are you upset? Are you happy? Say something. Okay, blink, blink. A Muslim and he called me a liar and you want me to believe you. That is impossible. <clears throat> you know, you will be blocked if you mention the name of anyone because I consider you a Muslim trying to promote people and you're playing dirty. However, if you are not, learn next time not to do so. If you have a Muslim to debate me, he's more than welcome. Let him call me when I'm live on air and let us see how good he is. Don't come here and say, can you debate this guy? Can you debate? What do you want me to do? Go chase them. What do you want me to do? I just made a video a few days ago challenging the, 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 the Kura Nakura and Shabura Alula and uh, uh, Yasser Kadura and who is the, uh, uh, the three or four, a Mufti Minka. And I said, I, I accept even them to be the, 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 the admin for the debate. <laughs> Whatever. What I will do more. <laughs> but you know, like you are, you're exaggerating. I cannot believe you. I mean, this is really horrible. A Muslim, and he is saying, Christian Prince is a liar. Who in the world want to believe you? I mean, come on, even Guy Golik is laughing. Look at this. That is fake news, my friend. It must be CNN. What do you expect him to say? He is telling the truth. My prophet is a fraud. Are you stupid? What do you really expect him to say? My prophet, he ordered to kill Guy Go. He's right. <laughs> And if you kill a guy, go, you get rewarded. What do you expect to say? Honestly, I mean, this is weird. So what Muslims, they do, they to promote themselves, they go to my channel or any other channel, and they say, why you don't debate this guy? But he is the same guy. He just using a different name. He wants his name to be mentioned. You know? Sneaky snake. Potato tomato. Man, I search here the old guy go and I got a lot of uh, pictures here. Look how many colors. I mean, look at this. Look at the colors. Each one of them is having different color. You know, I think what they did, those guy go, I think they stole like some box, makeup box, something from a woman in her bedroom. You know, I mean, look, look at this guy. Look, look what he have. Blue, red, pink. I mean, this guy is messed up. He have tattoo all over. Look at this guy. He have a tattoo too. Oh, look at this guy. His hairstyle. What the heck? I mean, what what salon did your hair feel for you? What a weird one. Look at this guy. I mean, look. At, oh, I mean, this this guy is an alien. Like the alien movies, you know. Like, hold on. Let me, let me put this one on the screen. What the heck is that? Honestly, this guy is an alien. I think he came from different galaxy or something. Now I know where the, those uh, movies, they got their imagination from for those aliens coming from whatever, you know? And look at the color. How? Wow. Look at the hands. You know, one prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, brother, they uh, asked him to eat a guy go. <clears throat> So when the prophet, he start, he hold the stick and he start counting their fingers. And he claim because he noticed their finger are five, so they are Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Allah cursed them and made them <laughs> and made them geigo. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful decoration, you know. <clears throat> Look at this guy. What the heck is this? What? Man, oh man. Uh, look what he eat for a snack man I mean this world is full of uh, stories do you see the color of the worm look I mean this guy he is he, like he's having his ice cream now now I know why some they have long eyelashes. They are trying to copy this guy. Look at his eyelashes. Like these days you walk in the street, you will see someone, she have eyelashes. They are like airplane. You are afraid to walk toward her because they, she, her eyelashes might hit you. And supposedly men, they will believe that those are real eyelashes. True, true eyelashes, brother, true eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> honestly I find them very funny I don't want women to be upset from me but I find them very funny and very weird you know look at this what the heck is that you know what if Muhammad he see this he will make a chapter about it he will call it the chapter of eyelashes this is not eyelashes this is eye fan this is eye curtain this is, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, a verb, he says, why you fake debate with Fifi? And my friend, I did not fake any debate. The fake is the one who don't dare to call me. And he mentioned his name here, but yet he don't dare to call me. All of you are potatoes. Christian Prince, why you fake debate with Fufu? <laughs> hey, my friend, let us say uh, I say that this is a debate with this guy and turn to be not him. I thought this is his voice. What's your problem? The problem is what happened in the debate. In the debate, it's horrible. And the Muslim looks so stupid like you. So you do do so so moo moo. Here we go. My Skype is open. Nobody dare to call me. They don't even dare to give me their Skype to call them. Let us have a real one. Why we don't have a real one? I will debate you only face to face. <laughs> okay, let's go to the eyelashes. This is the same guy, by the way. I blocked him. He came back with different name. He's trying to promote names. Uh, eyelashes. Yeah, all of those are fine. They are not. There's no. Uh, there's no crimes there. Let us change the the picture. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Your sense of a humor, I don't know, you know, English is funny. First time I was reading this word, sense of humor. Come on. Sense of humor. Do you know this guy, like, you know, the, uh, he, he, uh, the, the pink panther, he went to learn how to say hamburger? The hamburger. <laughs> sense of humor. Hum, humor. 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 Hammer. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, let us see here. You know, when you refuse to debate me and you claim that the Christian prince claimed to debate you, obviously you are the one who's scared. I'm the one who opened my Skype and none of you dare to call me. Here, let us talk about this. You know, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he killed a Jew and he took his donkey. Well, 
why we Christians said for one soul saved it would be joy in heaven but Islam celebrate famous people who convert to Islam because they are not saved they join the gang for us you know uh, the, the Bible says a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord for the Lord he consider us his children so when a child come to back home the father will be happy for the child to be found the story of, about Muhammad asking his donkey if you like females which is located in the book of Ibn Kathir you know and it's located in many other books the Muslim they read those stories for centuries 1400 centuries how come only when I read it they get upset is that a fake story Hmm? How come when I say suckle me, quoting the Prophet Muhammad to do breastfeeding suckling for adult, Muslim they get upset. Why you always get upset for reading what is written in your books? Christian Prince, I did follow your debate with Mujahid Okini Bomar 10 times. It was very, very good. My friend, this guy is an idiot. It's not a debate. I, I don't debate just, you know, this guy is a donkey. I mean, I cannot, I cannot call that a debate. All those in YouTube, none of them is a person who knows his religion. All of them, including Zachar Naik. You know, some people, they became, you know, like let's say famous not because they are smart, but because there's a lot of promotion, like the Muslim, like now, Qatar, they brought Zakir Naik in the FIFA. What if I have a government, they bring me to make speeches in the FIFA time? Do you see how much money they invest in their donkeys? A lot of money, billions, literally billions. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Emirates, Bahrain, etc., they pay more than 15 to 20 percent of their income for spreading Islam. How much money I receive to defeat Islam? <laughs> Just a question. <laughs> How many of you here, they, you know, do you support Christian Prince to, to fight Islam? 99% of you are here for free. Actually, all of you for free. I mean, there's only maybe 1% of people here, they are, they support. So there is a huge difference between what we have and what they have. Still, the one they are supporting is a donkey. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on him, he is a donkey. You spend a billion, you spend a trillion, you cannot make a donkey a horse. And we prove it every day. When the Chinese says, he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. It was true. So, when they speak about or trying to spend too much money, they can change the fact that their prophet is a donkey and the scars they are defend they are they are promoting they are donkeys. Their money will not make victory. Actually, now after many people they went to Qatar, many people they are so upset from such a stupid country. They promised them to have a freedom when you come, etc. When they went there, they flip upside on them. So only foolish people, they went there. Only foolish people, they went. Actually, for me, I believe it's a foolish even to spend one penny to go and watch a game, even if it's next to my house. 
First, it's dangerous. Secondly, it's stupid. Because you know this is a business. It's not a, it's not a sport. The FIFA is a gang. All of us, we knew that Qatar, they want, or they want, to be the one who hosts it by bribe. I mean, they have a case already. It's a bribe. It's a business. It's a commercial. So when a human being, he go and he join this mafia, the mafia of football, he is just a fool. You make them rich, you stay poor. You just wasted your money for nothing. I did not even watch anything. The only thing I saw is the opening. I click at the video because they have two women dancing just to take a screenshot and post it in, in the news, in YouTube, in Twitter. Right? Uh, somebody, his name is Tommy, saying, uh, let, let, us, let us copy his question. This is a good question. <clears throat> so our friend here, Tommy, he's asking, obviously he's not a Christian. He's saying, okay, I am interested in my, in, in a way, why and why Muslims keep Friday as worship day, yet the Quran says keep Sabbath. The same question goes to you, Christians. Uh, you know, for uh, when 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 you say Christian don't keep Sabbath, obviously you don't understand what the Sabbath. No, we keep Sabbath. Sabbath is not just Saturday. Sabbath is every day you designate to the Lord. So if a person he gave a day to the Lord. He is preserving the Sabbath. Let us say you are a Christian who live in a Muslim country and they force you only to have a Friday. You cannot have Saturday. You have to go to work. What this Christian would do? Friday is his Sabbath. As long he is designating that day to the Lord. Sabbath in the Bible was not only about Saturday. It's about a day you take rest. A day you give it to yourself and to the Lord is not a day of calendar. So people who they have, you know, they take things in a literate way, they say, okay, Saturday, Saturday. No, this is not only Saturday. In the Bible, there's many Sabbath and none of them was Saturday. As an example, when the Jews, they celebrate holiday, any holiday, that is called Sabbath. That day is called Sabbath, even if it's Wednesday, even if it's Tuesday, even if it's Monday. So you have wrong understanding of Sabbath, my friend. And Sabbath, the Bible says, Sabbath is made for the man, not the man must made for Sabbath, which means Sabbath is not a need from God. It's a need for the man. So God, he force Allah and the Jews to respect the day of rest because they were abusing their servants, their family, their women, their children, their slaves to work nonstop, even their animals. This is why the Bible says, even your animals cannot work, even your donkey. So it was to make you live so you don't die, not the opposite. God do not need your Sabbath. <clears throat> it's for your benefit. This is why Jesus says in Mark, Chapter 2, verse 27, Sabbath was made for the sake of the man, not the man was made for the sake of Sabbath. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see if we can see a question worth answering. Fuzz, he is asking how you worship the Father. Fuzz, are you a Muslim, my friend? Mr. Fuzz? Are you a Muslim? Let us change this picture behind. Are 
Are you a Muslim, Mr. Faz? Let us put in the screen what Faz he said. Give him time to answer if he's a Muslim or not. He said how you worship the Father. It's very funny that you ask a question how to worship. Because if, if there is a worship, it's not about how. It is something you mean in your heart. So I do not need to say or to do rituals to worship. True worship is the one start from the heart, not the one start by the legs and the foot and the tail. Do we agree, Christians? A true worshiper is the one who start worshiping the Lord in his heart. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And I find it very funny that Tommy, he decided to talk only to Caroline, but he didn't want to answer me about what I said. Tommy, he debated uh, Caroline now. So those who worship by bowing down, you can do that, no problem. I'm not saying this is wrong, but maybe you are doing it just to show off. When Jesus says, when you pray, you go to your closet. which means nobody see you. So why you are asking me how to worship? As if you are asking me to be hypocrite and go in the top of the corner and show you how I worship. A true Christian is not the one who speak about how much he worship or what he do when he worship. Is a person who worship in his heart first. <clears throat> Only hypocrite Jesus, he said, he warned us, don't be like those hypocrites who pray in the corners. You pray in the corners because you like to show off, not like you, because you are worshipping. When Muslim, they worship their God, what they do? They recite the same words Allah, he said, five times a day. How boring, how stupid. What is your prayer? How we can call even this is a prayer? Why the Holy Spirit thought? Why not the Father and the Son? I don't understand, Fant, your question. Why the Holy Spirit thought? What does that mean? I have no idea. And who said to Mr. Tommy that the Christian, they don't respect the Sabbath and they don't follow the Sabbath? We do. But life is different, my friend. You are just being ignorant. You are just being ignorant. At that time, people, they have no jobs of employment like now. You are, you know, you don't work. Okay, I'm not going to go work. The whole town is five, ten thousand. Everybody close. We sleep. We pray. Life is simple, easy. But today, it's not. Imagine if we make the electric company stop working in Saturday. Just to show you how, how silly people are. You know, people are silly. People are stupid, really. Imagine if we say, okay, we are going now, because this is a law given to Moses long time ago, we are going to stop working in Sabbath, all of us. So we shut down the electric company. Then with that, we shut down the water. And then they will shut down the hospitals. And then we will shut down the, the, the grocery stores. And then we shut down the traffic. That is the, that's even the stupid of you to think this way. But because you are just trying to ask questions out of the spirit of knowledge, it's just your arrogance, you know? Like, why? Why you don't do that? 
you have sent your Skype request okay hold on let me take a look <clears throat> what is your name in Skype Tommy Ah, your name is Tommy I see it let me call you okay Hello? Yes, my friend. Tommy, how are you? I'm fine, very fine. Okay, did you hear my answer already? Or, you know, you have still things to say? Go ahead. Sorry? Do you think it's possible for us now, in the year 2022, to shut down yes. ele electric companies, transportations, trains, airplanes, because it is Sabbath? Do you think is that is possible? Hospitals. Well, according to what, yeah, yes, it's to an extent it's very possible if it's only for the essential services, like hospitals, nurses. I mean, uh, uh, medical hmm. churches. Those ones can be on. Hmm. But no, but the Bible yes. says you don't do any work. The Bible says you don't do any work, even your donkey. Yes, oh, but remember, what Jesus explained. Jesus explained us to what work is. Work means anything that is for your own benefit, for your own labor, but not for taking care of mankind. You see? Okay. So, so why you are asking us why we don't take care of Saturday? If we can do that, then because you know the Ten Commandments says yeah. the fourth commandment that you should you should remember the Sabbath day. Okay. The and Ten keep Commandment it was given given to who? The Ten Commandments was given to uh, mankind. For example, it's not. It's not for. It's not. It's not for Moses. No, it's from Adam. Adam was not a, a Jew or a Moses. Adam was. Uh, God. God. Was he, not even, God. He gave the Ten Commandment to Adam. He. He gave. For example, he gave the Sabbath to Adam. Uh, first. Okay, Adam Sabbath. Was the first no, you see. Okay, Sabbath. But okay, so Adam, he yeah. have he have a Sabbath. It's a, it's a it's a it's a break day. Sabbath is the day God Himself. He stopped working, right. correct? Yes, and as an All example right. to us. All right. Human beings, no, yes. Okay, as an example, no problem. You see, I'm not. We are not saying that we are against the Sabbath. We support the Sabbath and we believe in the Sabbath. But there is a yeah. there is a time where the Sabbath. Yeah. Like now, you are asking why and how we cannot practice the Sabbath. I ask you, yeah. who is stopping you from practicing the Sabbath? Well, me myself, there's nothing stopping me, but I'm questioning the Christianity. Why? Like, who said to you? Keeping... Who said to you that Christianity are not supporting the Sabbath? Most Christians that I know of keep Sunday. How you know? Which is not no, not, not true. This is not true. Yeah. No, Saturday, okay, what's, Sunday, what's Sunday, my friend. Sunday they go to the church. In Saturday, you cannot even go to the to to to, to the synagogue. Okay, the question is, what's what's the first? Because according to the Bible, the first day of the week is Sunday, the last day of the week My is friend, Saturday. Is the last, this is not about the first and the last of the days. You have a wrong understanding yeah. of, of the Sabbath. The Sabbath is any day you give to the Lord. So when Jesus... Which was, okay, hold which on, hold on, hold on. Let that? me ask you. Did Jesus, did Jesus yeah. help somebody? He was injured in Sabbath? Yes, because okay. that was something which was good to do on the Sabbath. Okay, so if you do something good, you can do in the Sabbath, correct? Yes, which is not for profit. Okay, it's just what, to is help. A, what is the Christian they do in Sabbath, which is not good, is not allowed? Go ahead. For example, you see, when God, that, uh, God the, the, the Ten Commandments says, No, no, I'm, asking you, shall you I'm make... asking you, I am a Christian today in 2022. What, yes. I, if I do, is not right to do in the Sabbath? Go and tell me. Okay. Uh, the Ten Commandments says you shall not do labor. You, you don't, repeat, Sabbath. don't repeat. I am in Sabbath here, I live in the state. In Sabbath, yes, we have off day. We don't work. Yeah. So tell me now, yeah. what if I what I do in Sabbath will make me breaking breaking the Sabbath? Go ahead. Work, anything that is. If work. I walk, I break the Sabbath. Yeah, for example, you and you do something that and you pay. For example, you do I what? Go to you do what? Anything that is promoting yourself or not glorifying or worshiping God. That is not good for Sabbath. So what, what, what does have to do with my question? I'm asking you, what if I yeah. do what I do in my daily life? I am Saturday now. I am home. Okay. Yeah. What I how you decide that I am not respecting yeah. the Sabbath? Tell me. How I decide yeah. that you're not respecting the Sabbath yeah. is 
if whatever you are doing is going against the fourth commandment, which says, Tommy, I don't don't be stupid with me. I'm losing my patient. I'm asking you, stop saying if you're going against the ten commandment. I'm asking you, what what the action I did in the Sabbath will make me break in the commandment? Go ahead. An action you can take is, for example, watching football. I'm not watching football. Do you see me watching football? I'm speaking to the stupid you. No, no, I'm not stupid. Don't, don't, don't stupid be too because, harsh. Because I kept repeating my question. I said, it is Saturday. Right now we are in yeah. Saturday. Okay. So right now I'm speaking to you. I'm preaching to the Christians about yeah. Jesus, teaching the Muslim that Muhammad is false. How I am breaking the Sabbath. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, you're not breaking. You're doing something good because you are, okay. you are doing let's, ministry. Let us stop here. I let me repeat the question again. So what a Christian yeah. he do, if he do in Saturday, uh -huh. that will make him break in the Sabbath? Anything that is against... Let's Don't like tell me anything. Football. Just tell me. Give me an example. Give me an example. What is what? Okay. What do you mean an against? Example is, for example, uh -huh. going for shopping, going for shopping to the mall. Okay. Going for football. Okay. Going to work. Okay. Did Jesus yeah. go? Did Jesus when when he's Jesus in Mark twenty uh, two, he said, "Yeah, uh, a man was, yeah. a Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for yeah. Sabbath, because his disciples they exactly. are doing shopping at that time. They were eating from the field." Yes, you see, there's nothing wrong in eating on the Sabbath, is there? You just said going to the mall to do shopping to eat. But this phrase was said because they were in the field. Grabbing. From the field, that is their shopping at that time. People are stupid, man. They are so confused. And look, like, okay, you are not keeping the Sabbath. How? What we do exactly? And when the Lord, he says the command to the Jews at that time, because they are Jews and they are greedy and they are working nonstop. They want to make more money. They force their servants, they force their slaves, they force their sons. Even their donkeys never stop working. Even the ground. The Bible even says that you have to stop after six years of digging in your ground, farming. You have to give one year to the ground. That is a Sabbath. Sabbath is a day of rest. Anything the man he do for his rest is what God he wants you to do. You pray, that will give you rest. Pray. You want to sleep? You sleep. What people they do, they try to measure what was exist thousands of years ago to what we can do today. That is not what the Bible is teaching. The second you just say to me, oh, if you are doing something good, nothing wrong with that. With everything we do is good. Anything we do is good. It's a false excuse. The fact is, anything you do is done for your benefit, not for the benefit of the Lord. It's Sabbath, but not about making money. About your family, spend time with the family, with your children, you know, uh, do the right things with everybody, a family, taking care of his family, etc. That is not wrong. So you go and you say you walk, you do shopping. What if my child is hungry? Oh, you cannot go and do shopping. That is your stupid understanding. And this is how the Jews, they took it in the time of Jesus. And that's why Jesus said to them, well, how come David then? He did this and that. Was David a Jew? Or he wasn't? So when the Bible says, Saturday was made, Sabbath was made for the, the, the man, not the man was made for Sabbath, proving that you are stupid, ignorant, you think we are should worship in the Sabbath, when the, the, the target was, and the target is, is the man. So the order of the Sabbath was to stop the man a greedy life. It's not for God. 
even when the Bible speak about God he rested in this in the seventh day God never need rest God don't get tired he created the whole earth and the heaven now he get tired no the rest day is that means it's well done there's a day to sit and look at what we have done for the last week think about it what's wrong what's good what was bad it's a moment of silence the moment of sitting alone uh, 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 you know uh, uh, like let's say calculating yourself what you did I was wrong I was sinner I was a bad person I was good what I did exactly in the in the last six days same time it's a day for you it's not for God God he will not eat your food he will not take your money you work you don't work this is not his business it was to stop you from your greed this is why I ask you more than once what I do is against God teaching breaking the Sabbath you said worship when you're watching football <laughs> a second ago I was saying don't watch football is that correct guys isn't it a second ago I said even if the game is next to my house I will never go to watch football so what this guy is talking about I was telling everybody that this is a foolish action to go and support this gang this is a mafia they steal your money this is not a sport this is a clear mafia business human trafficking involved men are for sale they buy they buy they say the French team but there's no French in the French team they say Qatar team but there's no Qatari in the, in the Qatar team they say Saudi team but there's no Saudi there's all of those is a business it's a mafia so you are just taking things like in a literate way but you don't understand the spirit of the Bible you are like a rock oh Saturday I'm not going to do anything no this is not what Jesus said you can do many things you can do a lot of things Uh, <clears throat> this is my dad account okay what is the time now in, in Morocco I think it's still sleeping, right? This is the lady who left Islam from China. She said her father account. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody saying he is a Muslim. Let us see. You know, some people they have a you know a brain of a rock, like a rock. We are trying to call this Muslim. Let us see if he is online. My friend, I do not need to explain a verse to explain it to him. You know, uh, when Jesus, he said, the Sabbath made for the man, that solved all the issues. Obviously, the Sabbath was not about God. The Sabbath was about man. It's so clear. And there is tons of things. Life now is way more complicated People, they are forced to work in Sabbath. Otherwise, they will lose their job if your job is required. Especially if you live in a country, they don't honor the Sabbath, neither Sunday. What you would do? You will go homeless. 
So God, he gave an order for people who have control of their life. And their life is so simple. And anyway, they used to sleep by sunset. You know, not long time ago, I remember once me myself, I went once to a village. And this village, they have, uh, they have no electricity. And this is the first time I see myself in a place there's no electricity. Sunset, people, they came, we drank some tea around 6.30. By 7, everybody is home. By 8, everybody is asleep. 8 is like late, you know, like we spend too much time. Life is so simple. They wake up so early in the morning because they sleep so early too. They woke up even before the roaster. So when somebody tried to compare between life at that time and life now, if you want to go and you want to follow the details as the Bible says, for the Jews at that time, which is enforcing them to do any action because they were working to make money. They can't stop making money. There is a reason always for things to be given, orders, law. All the law is made for the benefit of the man, not for the benefit of God. Don't kill. It's a command not for the benefit of God. It's for the benefit of you. Because if everybody is killing, they will be killed too. Don't lie. When the Bible says don't murder, is that for the benefit of God? Don't wish a woman she is not yours. Is that for the benefit of God? None of this law is made for God, is made for you, so you can be living better life. When Moses, he said, if you want to do, uh, let us say, poo-poo, you have to walk 50, etc., from the camp. Are we going to practice that today? So obviously people are so naive and they think they are really strict and they are religious. They are not religious. You're an idiot. If it says don't light a light, don't light a light. Do you? Don't light a light today. At that time, they sleep at you know by six o'clock. They are they are they are asleep. Why do they want to light a light anyway? It's just to control the greed. They force their slaves to make wine at night, to make bread at night, to work non-stop. Like the slave, he go and he is so dead. They abuse even their animals. That's why it says, even your donkey. Even your donkey. You don't force your donkey into work if you go to Exodus 23. And you will see it says, and your donkey and your ox may rest. What is the purpose? To rest. It's an animal. So, Sabbath is a day of mercy for the man, not for God. Anything is mercy in the action you do in Saturday is a good action. As simple as that. Uh, Why well, you are not accepting? Let us see this guy. We have many texts. I don't know, like suddenly people, they are texting me from everywhere. <clears throat> we are calling this person.
We say, why you don't accept? And he don't answer. Let us see the second person. Uh, all right. People are waking up. That's good. See, I'm getting many texts and they are asking me to call them. And when I call, they don't even, it doesn't work. It says it's not online. This is the second one. Let us see this one. Uh, Somebody saying, I want to ask you about Mary. And I found an article saying that Mary, she was not virgin all her life uh, because Jesus, he have a brother biological brother here is the article my friend those are those are very silly topic and i don't find them interesting i find them stupid and silly because if mary she gave birth to jesus is she virgin now how she gave birth and she is virgin now so how you say virgin all her life mary she is a virgin but this is before she gave delivery, not after. I mean, do even people use their brain? She gave birth to a child. And now you are reading an article speaking about Mary. She was not virgin all her life. And why? Because he have a brother. That is the most silly, stupid thing ever. Nobody you want to use is a brain. It's an infection. By the way, my mother she gave she gave birth to me and I was virgin too. She was virgin. Hello? 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 I think this guy he called me by mistake. He's not noticing his own life. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I think this guy he called me. He is not maybe the phone in his in, in his pocket. Let us see another. He's calling me again. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Hello? Hello? This guy is calling, you know, uh, I think he, he have a, he have a phone in his pocket and he's calling me. Let us see another guy. Somebody saying she was a virgin all her life. Well, this is your understanding, my friend. You are smart. You know, virginity is about what you think about virginity. If you are saying she is a virgin, that means she never had sexual relationship. I can say, yeah, no problem. But if you are saying she was a virgin, this guy is calling me again. If you don't speak this time, I will block him. Yeah, but uh, I you you called me many times, my friend, and your your voice was coming weird, and I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, my is it okay now? Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I, keep, I have to uh, reset my my Skype. Anyways, I don't know if you remember me. Be I um I called before. Okay, did you leave Islam or not? Yeah, I did. Oh, I okay. accepted Christ, and all oh, right. I was uh, wondering if you if you can show like a video or is it of video of what 
I was, you know, I was talking with this with this this Muslim guy. He was asking me, how do you how do you show that uh, Christ and and God are same and s- uh, separate at the same time? So I played this one video. I don't know if you. Yeah, I can't play videos of others because they might have copyright over them. You know, oh. they can they can flag us. Oh, I I posted this video on my channel. Maybe oh. later. All right. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I was uh, saying. I see the topic. It says Sabbath was made for the men, mm-hmm. not the men made for Sabbath. What do you mean by that? Well, this is what Jesus said in Mark chapter two, verse twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-seven. You know, when the Jews, you know, the Jews, they've been given the order not to work in Sabbath. So. Uh, many people because they think that okay this is about Sabbath so we don't work but in fact Jesus he explained to them that you can do work in Sabbath and there's many things you can do in Sabbath for Sabbath is made for the man not the man made for Sabbath which means it's not God who need the Sabbath it's you who need the Sabbath it's you who need the rest day mm, I see, I see. so the Jews they were like just literally following the law word by word it says don't work in Sabbath don't do anything, anything, anything. That's it. So when Jesus was working in the field with his disciple, and they grabbed some like uh, fruits or something from the field, they said, "Look, look what they are doing. You know, they are hungry. They want to eat." So uh, he said, "Well, then David he, he ate in Sabbath, or you, you know, did you forget?" So uh, and then he said to them, "Well, Sabbath made for the man, not the man made for Sabbath." Which means anything is for. The benefit of the man is lawful in Sabbath. So if I find somebody is sick, I help him in Sabbath. If I find somebody hungry, I feed him in Sabbath. Doing good is what Sabbath is about. It's not about not really working as much as about doing good, not to be selfish for yourself. I see, I see. It's more, more like... Uh... Like God doesn't need it, but we do. I get it. Sure, absolutely. All, all the all the law is given to Moses. God do not need any of them. You see, like even when you say, you know, God, He says, worship me. Like you know, follow me. But do He need it? No. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what uh, I always wondered when I was Muslim, that when they say, "Oh, pray," and or God will, I was like, "Why God needs our our like prayer so much?" And you know, fasting and all that. But in Christianity, it makes more sense and. That's why I, I feel more, uh, I can relate to it, makes more sense altogether. But yeah, these verses were a little bit, you know, have to understand, I guess. Everything, everything yeah. is about, uh, like the Ten Commandment, all of it, is about you, how to live better, not about how God lived better. Yeah, like to, uh, it will lead to God at the end of the day. I, I, that's what I, I, I yeah, but still, it's for, that. it's for safety, security, yeah, uh, for but if you, comfort. If you, if you live by what God told you, like in the Bible, you at the end, you will feel close to God, like you know, once you stop sinning and just focus, right? That, that's what I'm saying. It's like a relationship with God. You do like the right thing, you get close to God. The worst, you know, like you partying and stuff, you keep feeling like you're getting farther away from God. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, anything else, my friend? You want to say anything? Oh, no, that's why I just wanted to say thank you for your help. And um, finally, I accepted Christ and uh, I feel much, much at peace. I'm so happy for you. Well, I, I don't know where you live. I'm not going to ask you, but I I'm advise... in the U.S. Oh, okay. Well, then you need to find a church to get baptized when you are ready. If you know that you should, you know, baptism is very important for us other Christians. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I thought like, well, is this that I, I've, I've uh, watched a video when they were showing like they were going in a little like a ocean or something. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. At the beach, right? Yeah, yeah. Or even inside the church, you know, they have like a place for, you know, water. Uh, baptism is not only symbolic, but it is, you know, you will be like born again with Christ. And you will be receiving the the Holy Spirit with you, so it's more it's a it's a spiritual and it is real, and I advise you, like you accept Jesus, in your heart, yes, yeah. But, uh, but baptism is like, uh, let us say, uh, washing yourself from the previous days and starting your life, born again, literally, you know. I see. I just want another thing. Yeah, I will look into it. I will. I, I don't. I don't have a church at the moment um, because you know I really don't. I don't know uh, what to tell them. That hey, I converted. 
Yeah, why not? Uh, don't don't worry. They will not be uh, upset. You can tell them. Just go and tell them I am, uh, you know, an ex-Muslim. You can tell them your stories. They will be happy. They will be happy to have you. Trust me. Uh, yeah, I have uh, this one church near me, and I uh, they're like Mormons or no? No, no not Mormon are not Christians. Jehovah's Witnesses are Christians. Stay away from those. Yeah, that's why I didn't go to those churches. No, no, those I, are those aren't Christians. Those are cult yeah, like, felt like, like a cultish vibe. Yeah, like Islam. You know, we don't we don't yeah. those aren't Christians. Yeah. So uh, yeah, one more one more comment I wanted to say. Uh, so I I was watching these videos about uh, near uh, near death experiences, and I don't know why uh, I don't hear it more often. Uh, Christians like uh, using it in their debate because that's a good evidence. Even Muslims, they when they have near death experience, the what they describe is so close to the Christian theology. Well, you know, for me, I cannot speak of something I did not experience myself. You know, but there's like uh, I actually made a whole playlist of I mean, maybe I'll make my own channel and I'll discuss this. But even Muslims, when they like I said, I used to have visions like that in my dreams. And that was I had no idea about Jesus at that time. But, I, uh, you know, and a lot of people, they even so that's actually a good evidence that that's what like human, you know, when they feel close to God, the Christian theology is what uh, seems more more like it. And uh, that's a good I mean, there's so many uh, um, like people talking about their near, near death experience and it's unanimous that they see they feel like they see Jesus at the end of the you know when they are kind of dead clinically yeah. you see there's many things people they speak of and let us say somebody he saw a vision somebody saw a dream somebody uh, I experience a lot of those people speaking to me but for me uh, I cannot really approve or disapprove something me myself I did not experience mm. I, I i have to say i believe them because i trust they are being honest you know what i mean but, yeah there's so many yeah yeah but but still still at the end of the day i go only but by what my lord said mm -hmm. not by what the man say i see i see right? i'm just saying like uh, uh that's why i was talking to a muslim friend and that, that's why i told him uh, he said what is the evidence i was like there's a lot like uh i was showing him and he was pretty touched by it because everybody says like they don't even know each other they have exactly same experiences and it's pretty close to christian like they don't see any 72 virgins or anything like that you know <laughs> so yeah anyways so well, uh, if, if you yeah. want you can tell me where you live i will see if i can find you at church and i will i will let them contact you if you want or it's up to you yeah. you can find your own way just you can go to any in church you know the catholic protestant orthodox doesn't matter really uh, whatever you feel comfortable and uh, just tell them that I am an ex-Muslim. I met someone. His name is a Christian Prince. Whatever in the internet, and you know we uh, we have some discussion, and I decide to leave Islam, accept Jesus, and I, he told me that I should get baptism, and they will do the rest, oh. and okay, they will okay. they will come you with very happy. You will see. You will see. Yeah, I, I um, yeah, I will look into it. Like I said, the church is near me right now. They they have a little cultish vibe, and I don't want to. I know. No, no, those you know, are like, those uh, are not Christians. Know, human yeah. human are sinful, so people yeah. can do crazy things. So yeah, so. those are not Christians. We don't care for them. We care uh, for. I, and I want to share that video I have on on the on the chat so people can see. I mean, if you're talking what, to what is the name the title of the video? Oh, I I made this video. It's called Understanding Christian Christian Trip. Trinity through Einstein's theory of special relativity. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just shared. Okay. Huh? Uh, uh, you know, uh, just post your your uh, your name in the comment, and they can click at your name later, and they can go and see the video. And you can, yeah, you, I, can you can post the title. People they can share it, uh, search it, and they will find it in YouTube. Yeah, it's really interesting because Einstein is saying exactly that. That uh, like uh, there's energies. There are two. But they're two many their manifestation of same thing, but they're two in body. So kind of like you know, just to understand because people say, how can two things be one, right? And here we go. No, we no, you see, there's, there's an easy way to understand yeah. how things can be one, because as I you remember, I, I I think I spoke to you. I said, uh, you yourself, you have a spirit and you have a flesh, right? Yeah. But both are one, but they are two. You know. Correct. Yes. Yes. So, but, you know, like, and not, you know, and not, that, not, uh, not only yeah. there are two, there are two, two different na nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but yet they are in one person. So how you are one person and then you are flesh and then you are a soul. 
and then they yes. deny that this is can be impossible you know true true yeah that's i'm just saying like adding to that so yeah um i will share it once your video is over i'll yeah, share in the comments you see section. now when you do baptism you will have a three yeah. in one not only one why because you have the flesh you have the soul which is a soul given to human the same as a soul given to animal soul but mm -hmm. then when you get baptism you will have the spirit of god with you so you have a three in one that's why we say we'll receive the holy spirit can you baptize yourself well i mean uh, if if there's nobody around me this is this is uh, this is fine but uh, as long as you live in a society and churches are open thank god so there is no reason for that don't don't, don't be shy i mean this is normal i mean i have I have many men, you know, old, uh, young, they go baptism and actually it's going to be a very special experience. And you will call mm -hmm. me later and you will tell me about it. You will, you will tell me how, how you felt. You will see. Okay. Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, I live uh, on the south, in the south and, you know, uh, anyways, uh, I'll send you my location in the, in the Skype. And uh, right. if you can help me find a good church, All right. I will see. you know, cultish. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Friend. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Well, we are happy for our friend here. I don't know if you remember him. We call and actually I, I got mad from him maybe like sometime because he, he had too many questions. He had, he gave me headache, you know, <laughs> but you know, because he's smart. You see, when somebody, he is so much in details. This is this is how you know he is very serious. You know, you don't just want to accept things blindly. You don't want to be like those Muslims say shahada without knowing what he's talking about. So he gave me too many questions, and sometimes I lost my patience with him because I felt like okay, this guy is making making my like my mission impossible. And now, as you see, he decided to accept the Messiah. And I'm very grateful that he did. I'm grateful for the Lord to give me the opportunity. And here we will see, like you see, we have Tommy. Tommy is a good person. He's a good Christian. Maybe I don't know if he's a Christian or not. But Tommy, he think that God is about you do this and that and that. And that's God. But Tommy, he forgot that God is way more than this. God is not just a law. God is mercy. So Tony, he says, work in Sabbath is anything that does not glorify God. But Tony, <laughs> there's million things we do in Sabbath, they glorify God and they are work. Don't you know? When Jesus and his disciples, they walk in the field and they were hungry. angry how that is a glorifying God according to your logic that's not you're hungry you walk to grab food how that a glorifying God that is just eating so you have wrong understanding about glorifying God we glorify God by not breaking God command and committing sin so if Saturday is meant to be to give us rest to save us from our greed and we do that then we are not breaking the command of God but if a person who live in country he have to work in Saturday is he committing sin against God no you have a family you have kids to to feed if somebody have a farm, farm, I'm not going to say cars and business and etc. And this business have to take care seven days a week. There's a snowstorm is coming. Those chicken will die. You have to turn on the heater for them. Otherwise, all his chicken will be dead. Shall he go and turn the heater, which is going to save him from the money? Lose? It's just money. But this is his livestock so you can be just a silly and you say oh this is and that and that or you can say that God is merciful and he gave us the day for our mercy not for the opposite and then you will understand that whatever Jesus was doing was for the sake of mercy and anything you do in Saturday 
for helping yourself or helping others, not for the sake of benefit, but something logical, something makes sense, is good in the eye of God. If I have a dog outside, and today is Sabbath, shall I go and open the door for my dog? Or maybe shall let him die in the snow? If I have an animal and he is hungry, shall I torture my enemy and let him, my, 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 my animal or my donkey, and let him fast the whole day? Or I shall go and feed him? So depending how, how big your brain is, you know, you can be the same as those Jews who are questioning Jesus about everything you do, or you can be a person who uses a brain. God, he made a law for the smart one, not for the stupid ones. Stupid ones always, they break the law by following the law. Like when the Jews, they were chasing a woman for committing adultery. They were what? Are they following the law? No, they were, they were breaking the law. They got the women, but they have no man. Do you remember? They go after a woman. They brought a woman to stone her. Have you ever heard of a woman committing fornication alone? So, were they breaking the law or practicing the law? They were breaking the law. And not only that, where is the judge? Who is the judge? So, in one hand, they claim that they are following the command of God, but in fact, they are breaking the law by practicing the law. When Jesus, he said to them, the one of you who did not commit sin, throw your rocks at her. Just go ahead. Jesus did not debate them. He did not show them verses from the Bible. He did not do anything. He said, the one of you, you have no sin, just to stone her. Go ahead. And then they look at each other. What? And they notice that they are just a bunch of stupid who they are practicing the law, but on everybody except themselves. Who are you, the one who want to practice the law? Who are you and how you became a judge? So they were practicing the law, but by doing, practicing the law, they were breaking the law of God. And Jesus, he said to her, well, nobody judge you, neither I. But don't do it again. So which one is more important to Tommy? A woman she committed fornication? Or a man he walked his dog? According to Tommy, you are a bad person. According to Jesus, you are not. So which one you follow? Uh, he was talking of what? Ah, oh, Sir Miracle. Ah, oh, no, there's no such a thing. Just, just go, just go, Tommy. You're just being an idiot. This is an, a very important sin, fornication. Not only fornication, prostitution. Yet the Lord, he was merciful. And you are being hypocrite. And look at you. You claim that in Saturday you should not do anything. Anything. And you are all over YouTube. You claim that you should not turn your light on. You should not hit the switch. But look like your light is on and your switch is on and you have a phone and you have a headphone and you are connected to the internet. So you justify when you want, and you classify as you want. It is sin when you like, it is not sin when you like. Is it necessary for you to come to YouTube? Is it? No, it's not. 
Are you a person who have like a teaching to do? Do you have a church? Why you came to YouTube? There's nothing to do to serve the Lord better than YouTube for you? So your logic is broke, it's against your logic. You are being hypocrite, my friend. May the Lord forgive you. Let us see a different person. Uh, okay, somebody is saying he is from China or in China. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Hello, CP. How are you? God bless you. God bless you, my friend. So you are in China Give now? Give me just a moment. I need to figure out the sound. I don't hear you that well. Uh, okay. Sorry. That's all right. Mm. Uh. Okay. I think now it's better. So uh, I have a couple of questions like related because I know some uh, Muslims and every time I talk to them, they keep bringing stuff up like, oh, but according to the Bible, you guys also should not be eating pork and blah, 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 and those kind of stuff. Hmm. So and I know, of course, that uh, that uh, Jesus said, like, don't be mindful what goes into your mouth, but what goes uh, from your mouth, like what you believe in. So do you know any other like... Um, explanations that I well you know, you, know it's, you see uh, you see everything is given as we said before every every uh, law given for a reason so in the time of uh, Christ uh, uh, pigs day you know they are in the field and uh, usually the one who grow them is the pagan you know so uh -huh. you know they, they eat from anything they eat from uh, dead bodies dead uh, dead animals dead, even dead humans at that time, people they have yeah. these wars. There's wars. People kill each other, and people they will be dumb. Even in the time of Jesus, the one who got crucified, there's an area it's called Jahannam where they throw the dead bodies. You know, so it's not okay. like they bury them and there's a health, uh, you know, center who stamp the pig for you to check it's healthy. So pigs they eat anything, literally anything, mm -hmm. and so for that reason. Because they were forbidden for the benefit for the man, not for God. It's not about God. Yeah, yeah. It's about the benefit and the health of the man. And in fact, uh, pork is not healthy. Until now, nothing changed. However, uh -huh. if the reason for uh, when I say not healthy, it doesn't mean it's going to kill you. But I mean, there's other uh, food can be better, you know. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, of course, all, fish, for all food can be yeah. dangerous. Like, you know, they have a disease it's called the cow disease, like um, the mad cow, you know. So all yeah. they, ha yeah. they have a, the, the, the bird flu, right? So there is many diseases that can, can be exist in birds or normal animals, even sheep or a cow, and they can be extremely dangerous. Yeah. Uh, however, anything in the Bible is given for a reason. If the reason is gone, the order is gone. So, the one who was giving the order, it was the Jews. The Jews, they have a law, and they have a covenant. It's, this is the law. They have to follow. But if you are not a Jew, when the last time you received the law, and who is the one who gave you the law? So, you will see that in the Bible, yeah. even the disciples, when they discuss together about what we should teach the new Christians, who they are not Jews. Mm -hmm. You know, the disciples of Jesus, they are the Jews. So they understand the law, exactly. they follow, but those are new Christians. They have nothing to do with the law of Moses. So what we will say to them, how we speak to them, what we what we make, and what is the obligation for them, and they come to the conclusion that it's not. There's many examples, as you say. Jesus says, "It's not what go inside your mouth, but what come from your mouth." So yeah. what go inside exactly. your mouth is not making you dirty. You know, this is not what make you dirty or clean. It can make you sick. Yeah. It can make you and and, and like uh, let us say you can get killed. You can die. You can be poisoned. So yeah. So is is that animal itself is a harm uh, the harmful thing or or it, no the animal is, there's no problem with the animal. The problem is what this animal eat. 
So when the Christian in the, in the beginning, there's uh, nobody said that uh, Christian they eat pork, like where where it says in the Bible that we eat pork, nowhere. The, the, yeah, exactly. It doesn't say, but what it says that the obligation which was given to the Jews, like Paul when he speaks, he says, when I speak to the Jew, I speak as a Jew. When I speak to the Gentile or the Greek, I speak like a Greek. I speak like them, which makes yeah. sense. So now when I speak to another person, a Muslim, he called me. Not the same way I will speak to a Christian, because if I do, you know, I will be wasting my time. Like I said to him, you are saved by the blood of Jesus, which many Christians, they do that. You are saved by the blood of Jesus. This Christian, this Muslim, he will get blocked. What the heck? What blood of Jesus? What are you talking about? You know, you scared him. He, 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 <laughs> will, understand, yeah. he, will, he will think that we are zombie or something. What blood? Where is the blood? Who, 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 where blood? You know, so what Christian they do right away. They see a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddha. You are going to be saved by the blood of Jesus. He died for you. Just wait. Step by step, the guy, you have no idea what are you yeah, talking about. You cannot have that approach. Of so, yeah, so those are the exactly. those are the Gentiles who they are not from the Jews, who have no idea what the law of the Jews, and they have nothing to do with the Jews. So, because we have a lot of new believers who they are not from the Jews, and God He made it in the in the Bible so clear that this is a commandment you give it to your people, the people of who? The people of Moses. The disciple of Jesus, mm -hmm. who they are from the people of Moses, they keep the commandment because they are from the Jews. This is why they call they, we, we call the Jews who they are Christians. We call them Messianic Messianic Jews, right? But mm -hmm. those who they are yeah. not, those are just the Christians. So, because yeah, they don't, they, they are not they are not part of the covenant of God. They are new believers. God, he, in the, he just he said, I, I have sheep in other place, not. Not, which means in other nations, not only the Jews. Yeah. And then he said, go and like, you know, he ordered his disciple to go and teach all everybody. And the disciple, they spread everywhere. And they spoke to people in their own languages. And they spoke to their culture too. So uh, uh, if you go to Philippines and I go right now and I say, from now on, you don't eat pork. Millions of people will die. Yeah, exactly. It's a major food. They cannot afford to buy beef. It's very expensive. Uh, you see, for even, example, even uh, beef for me here in USA, and I am not like a, a Filipino living in the Philippines, have little like uh, $200 income. Even beef, me, myself, I have difficulty to buy it. It's very expensive. Anyone living in the state yeah, knew. Here so, in China, it's also expensive. Yeah. So yeah. God is merciful. God is not making a law for the benefit of God. It's for the benefit of the man. So if the man, he survived, even by eating anything, like when God, he says to the nation of Israel, you will cook even use, use poop. <laughs> poop, you know, you know that, right? <laughs> they will use poop yes. to cook in it. So which one is more horrible? So they, they, will, they will put their hands in the poop to make it a fuel, to mix it with the grass, dry grass, and then they dry it, and then they cook with it. Doesn't mean they are eating it in the food, no, but they are making it as a fuel. And actually, until now, they are using it even in Islamic countries like Bangladesh, and it's saving them tons, millions, billions of dollars with the fuel. So, yeah. which one is more like scary to eat pork, which is a meat of an animal, or to put your hand in a poop and to make it a fuel, to make it <laughs> a dunk? It's a dunk, that's what they call it, you know. So, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so the hypocrite ones. Because they are going after, they are going after you to try to find something negative about you, right? But then we ask exactly. the Muslims, yeah. if you are against drinking, uh, uh, eating uh, uh, a pork, how in the world do you allow yourself to drink camel urine? <laughs> when the Bible forbid <laughs> eating even the camel. Yeah, exactly. Even the camel is the forbidden. Camel, the Yes, the rabbits, even the camel is forbidden for the for the Jews. So the Muslim, not only they are breaking the command, they are drinking the piss of Mr. Camel. I I remember like uh, I don't know if you're familiar because I'm from Serbia originally from right. Balkans. Okay. Uh, because we were under you know the history we were under the Ottoman rule, and uh, mo mainly our like consumption were sheep's because we were holding the area with a lot of hills and pastures. So as the Turks conquered that part of the Balkans, we changed to eating pork. 
now pork is predominantly, of course, sheep and pork are two, let's say, how to say, major meats that we eat, like mm. the calf, uh, the calf meat and ch chicken are like, let's say, third and fourth place. And uh, because of the, the uh, as you can see, Ottoman rule, we changed our diet mainly to the pork. And uh, we have a joke in my country. We say, until I try the lion from Africa, the king is the, por uh, the, uh, the, uh, the pork is the animal king for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see, it's about surviving, you know, and people, they, they go through yeah, a lot of their life. <laughs> All of our sheep, yeah, chickens, and and you know? and the Jews are lucky nation, my friend. Even the Jews, even the Bible says that God He used even to send them food from the sky. You know. Yeah, yeah, I know this one. Yeah, so He sent the them. Desert, yeah. So we cannot compare, you know, what happened to the Jews uh, with other nations. You have God who every morning He make food rain on you. You don't even need to work. You wake up in the yeah, morning, you nice. find you find food on the floor. So. Uh, so those people they do not need the pork and they do not need the the the, the beef and they don't even need the camel, you know. So they yeah. have a, they have they, a, just... they have a different life, and uh, uh, and they were you know chosen nation and even God even even after all what he did to them he was very upset from, with them you know like the the Jews course, they were greedy they... he told them yeah. Moses he told them that the Lord told me not to collect the food and save it until the second morning don't do that. What they do because they because are greedy <laughs> they save they save more they save more okay there's a lot of food save it save it because that's too what jews do i mean and this actually what all people do i mean because i don't know if tomorrow we will have the same but by the morning they will find worms eating those food is food is damaged because lord he said to them don't don't worry i'm going to provide you so every day he gave them except except the sabbath, the sabbath and this is actually what the sabbath is the Sabbath, the Jews, they start counting the day where God don't send down the food as the Sabbath. It's not a day in the in the week. It is the day. Oh where... yeah, I wanted to. Yeah. So I wanted to comment on Sabbath. Uh, for example, for us, Sabbath is not Saturday. Sabbath is more, mainly like uh, Sunday. Like that's let let's say like we say God worked for six days and He rested for one day. So we also need to find any day to rest. Yeah. And and, let's say any day, any, any any day actually, any day you designate to God is Sabbath. Not like strictly Saturday. Oh, we need to like no, no, any day. Even if you even decide, if even if you decide to make the whole week, is is a is a, that is Sabbath. Mm, that yeah. is Sabbath. Like exactly. you know, as an example, when if you go in some countries like in the Philippines, from from the day of the uh, they are celebrate, celebrating of the Easter, so they have four days. <laughs> Or five days holidays, all of them they are Sabbath, but they are not Saturday. Exactly. You know, so, it's the same. Like for Christmas, it's three days yeah. in Serbia, and, and uh, uh, for uh, the Jews, days. the Jews, they have like the New Year, they have etc. It's going to be Sabbath, Sabbath, but even if it, it might be Monday, but it's Sabbath. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. So Sabbath is a day it's designated it's to the Lord and designate yourself to rest. It's not just a day. It's called. It can be Saturday as Saturday. Which is the yeah. usual one, but it can be a Sunday, it can be a Monday, it can be Tuesday, it can be any day which is designated for the Lord. As simple as that. Uh, I've heard that some, I've heard some uh, claims from some Muslims that Sabbath is the uh, originally from Arabic. I think like that's nonsense, but I'm not sure. Uh, you know, Sabbath have nothing to do with Arabic. Sabbath is the you know when when God He created the earth and the heaven, you know He rested in the seventh day. Which is the Sabbath. Yeah. Sabbath is not a day, it's called Saturday. Sabbath is the rest day, as simple as that. Rest? Yeah, it's the rest but day. But do you think it comes from Arabic? I don't think it's Arabic. I no, it's, it's not Hebrew coming from anyone. Origin. It's coming from the, the God from the beginning when he created Adam and Eve. You know, and uh, from the before he created Adam and Eve, uh, he when he created the sky, the earth, and the heaven, and then when he finished everything, including the creation of everything, then God he rested, but the word rest here is not about God getting tired, it's about God he finished. It's complete. Mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, yeah. At the seven, like six days he worked and the seventh day. In the Sabbath day, in the, in the Sabbath day, you complete yourself as a human. In the sixth day, you are working as an animal. In the seven in the seventh day, <laughs> yes, in the seventh day, you are you are the human again who is enjoying life, exactly. who is resting, who is going back to his himself like you know uh 
when when uh, when Jesus he took a uh, forty days of fasting. How many Sabbath was of them? Many, but all of them they are Sabbath. Mm -hmm. You know? they, all of them were dedicated to, to yeah. God. The, yeah. is, is the, uh, there's a dictation for something special. So any day you give it to the Lord is a Sabbath day. Sabbath is a, just a holy day. Let us say exactly. it's a rest day. It's a meditation day. It's a thankful day. It's appreciation day. And the Lord, he says, when you feed, uh, they said, you know, he said to them, uh, when, you, when you feed me, when you I was hungry and you you know you feed me I was thirsty and you give me I was uh, sick and you you know visited me I was in jail I was stranger you took me in they said Lord when we did that to you he said when you did that to my brothers you did it to me that is Sabbath day. Exactly. Uh, when you uh, now when you mentioned fasting uh, for example like in, in uh, fasting in Orthodoxy it's not just like abstaining from food it also like at when let's say when you're fasting the big fasts you also need to uh, how to say you should not be swearing you need to relinquish yourself of dirty uh, like uh, not dirty thoughts but like those like dishonest thoughts you should not be like angry so like for us fasting is not just like oh i don't eat food for us fasting is also uh, trying to be more holy as much as possible trying to not holy but if you get what i mean trying to sin less of course we are human, so it's uh, limited how much we can sin and how much. You know, harm. fasting. You see, the Bible says that uh, uh, you know there's many uh, phrases, uh, verses we can quote, but all of them they they lead us to one thing: that there is many hypocrite people. They focus on the body, but not on the soul and the spirit. Yeah, exactly. With, with the Christ, Christ, he don't focus in the body; he focus in the spirit. He said. As you said before to me, it's not what go inside your mouth will make you filthy, but what come from your mouth. So that yeah. that destroy everything, you know, because they focus on the body. They think the body is, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's a it's a clean body, it's a dirty body. But the fact, the most important is how your clean your, how clean your soul is and how clean your mind is. I can now, I can make a statement, and people they get upset from me. And everybody will take it as he wish. Maybe because my English is funny. Maybe because my English is, is broken. Yeah. But but you might even be insulted. You might think I speak something dirty. But for me, I don't mean it this way. So which one is the right? It's what I meant. It's not what you think. Yeah. So I agree. what a, what a human being would be judged by is what he meant and what he wanted to be. Is not a food he eat. All of this is for the benefit of the man, the health. Don't eat from this. Don't eat from that. Is for health, but it's not about God. God who forgive you for big sin. Do you think he will send you to hell because you ate pork? Of course not. That's silly. So He's gonna Muslims, get, Muslims, he Muslims, Muslims, they practice hypocrisy. Wanted, like actions, they, pla yeah. they practice hypocrisy. They go and they have sex with the children. And they kidnap women from the street, as Muhammad did. And they kill innocent people who have nothing to do with them. And then uh, uh, and they allow themselves to lie to each other, to the wife lying to husband, the, the husband lying to the wife. They allow themselves to use the name of God in vain, taking false oath. They allow themselves to practice muta, which is nothing but fornication. And then they are so proud that they don't eat pork. <laughs> yeah. Do you know I have a story like my own, let's say, theory why the Muhammad demonized the pork. And like, I feel like one day in the desert, he got poisoned. And like, you know, when something bad happens to you because of something. No, Muhammad then, like, is just a thief. He is just copying the Jews. <laughs> Yeah, well, probably, yeah. But that's Muhammad like is just copying I'm... the Jews. And anyway, there's no pork around. Where is the pork there? Yeah, in, it, of course, it's rotten. I mean, like, it cannot be. No, no. It's the desert. No, you forbid something. It's not even exist. Yeah, exactly. Because the pigs, they will not live in Saudi Arabia. Exactly. There's they, no they, in they will the desert. Die. They will die immediately. You know, it's extremely. This is not just a, this is not acceptable weather for, for pigs to live. So yeah. Uh, so this guy he forbids something does not exist. Why? Because just the the, <laughs> the Jews in their book it says, 
who don't eat pork and, and what kind of a hero you are when you forbid something does not exist can that's a muslim true. can a muslim show me a reference maybe i am not aware of that somebody in the town of muhammad before islam used to eat pork nobody i don't think it's the desert they cannot survive nobody they have so, so he forbid what he forbid nothing yeah exactly <laughs> like you know i'm going to for my, forbid myself I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will now let me make a law now uh i'm going to forbid myself uh, from eating uh lobster but i can't afford it anyway <laughs> even if it's there next to me you know so I, I forbid myself from something i don't eat yeah it's not there it so there's no pork in town there's no pigs in town and the guy he forbid it and now the muslim are so proud <laughs> Yeah, that's like the only thing they like to catch on to that, like, oh, stick to it. And, and every time they say, like, they say it so proudly, I don't eat pork. So Muhammad, he forbid pork. pork. Yeah. How come he eat camel and he drink the kippis of the camel, which is the Bible says, don't. How come the Muslim, they allow to eat rabbit when the Jews law it says don't? When, how, come yeah, Muhammad, how come Muhammad don't follow the Sabbath when Allah supposedly he ordered and early, even he punished the Jews. He made them pigs and monkeys for breaking Sabbath. Yeah, I saw I saw I saw Jewish pigs and monkeys when I was traveling in some uh, jungle of uh, Amazon. You know, they're, yeah, don't, they're there actually. They're true. Don't true story. don't say that the Muslim they will take it serious. <laughs> All right, <laughs> take care, my friend. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Okay, thank. You. thank you. For so much for Thank taking you. me in and uh, i'll try to bring you a muslim friend to talk to you no problem that's good uh one day if right. i can yeah Take. because uh, she has a version of islam that's like beautiful and there's nothing and uh, you should respect this respect that and, uh, you know yeah. so if i can get that person to talk to you maybe like he gonna have some new version of Islam <laughs> that sure. you never saw before <laughs> you're welcome my okay, friend take care. god bless yeah take care All right, we have, you know, we spend the whole day, nobody call, and now because I'm leaving, I have tons of people texting me, they want to talk. <laughs> Isn't it weird? <laughs> Hello? Hello, yes. You are live on air. Hello. You are I live have on a air. Question about uh, Christianity. All right. Are you are you a Christian yourself? Uh, yes, I am. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, there's a doctrine about when they said uh, when Christian is safe, there will always be safe after death. I mean. Is it true? Is it biblically true? I don't understand. When a Christian will be what? I mean, after they believe uh, Jesus Christ yeah. and they 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 save, right? They are saved. And they are saved. Saved. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they are saved. Is that means they are always safe? You know, they always maintain that salvation with them. All right. Well, uh, your your voice is not good, so I'm going to hang up on you, and you can hear me from YouTube. Is that okay? Okay, okay. All thank right, you. So, all right, thank you. Yeah. You see, salvation, the promise of salvation, Jesus, he made it clear, whoever believe in me and die will live. Whoever believe in me and die will live. But that does not mean somebody who just say, I believe in you. A person who believe in Jesus, he do follow Jesus and he bring people to Jesus. Even if he could not bring people to Jesus, he work hard to do it. He try. So whoever believe in me and die, he will live. So it's a promise and the Lord always, he keep his promise. But you have to believe from your heart. That's why the Lord, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And what is the will of the father? Is to worship the son, to obey the son, to glorify the son and to follow the son teaching. So how we worship the Father? By 
accepting the son that's why the bible says who is the antichrist is the one who deny there's two things that jesus is the son of god you deny him and you deny the father so if you deny the father or you deny the son you are antichrist if you accept them by saying things by lips, you are no Christian yet. You have to be a believer by heart and by act. That's why Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And Jesus, he gave us a parable of the 10 virgins. Those virgins are not about women, really. It's about all of us. The one who is ready with the oil in their candles and the one who have empty candles. They have candles, but they have no oil. What does that mean? It means one of them was a fool and one of them was smart. One of them, he did not come to the Lord empty-handed as he created him, just I'm saved. Somebody, he did his best to save as many as he can. Maybe he could not save anybody. He did not, could not bring anybody, but he tried. So the Lord, he examined you by your fruits, not by just saying a statement. And yes, you will be saved if you are a true believer. Let us take, I hope I answered you. Uh, let us take another call. I'm trying to mute uh, Skype so it doesn't bother you when we call. We are calling and they are not answering. Well, look like, you know, they asked me to call them, but when we call, they don't answer. I know. We call this person, did not answer. Let us try a different person. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Yes, go ahead. Um, I see the, the you you are live in YouTube and talking to someone, but how uh, are you able to? I me? I cannot understand what you are saying, my friend. I'm watching your live in YouTube. You are talking to someone. I am lying. Ah, you know the title of the video is uh, Salad was made. I don't understand any word. Can you call me? Can I call you back? Because I don't understand you. Uh, maybe because I'm, I am on a headphone. Let me disconnect my Okay, headphone. disconnect your headphone, please. Okay, go ahead. Disconnect your headphone. All right. Now I think it's better. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's way better. Go ahead. See, uh, I'm, I'm listening to uh, your YouTube. All right. You are cutting again. Oh. You, okay, you are listening. To, uh, stop YouTube. Uh, 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 mute YouTube, okay? And if you have a bad okay. internet, maybe you you can close YouTube. Yeah, I, I, I close the YouTube. Okay, what do you want to say? Go ahead. Yeah, before I ask my question, I just want to confirm that I'm talking to the real Christian prince. All right. Because life is going on and I'm also talking to a Christian prince. Which one is fake? What do you mean, which one fake? You are talking to me and you are asking I mean, me which one is fake? I mean, which one is a fake? I mean, is the YouTube it's already done? Am I watching the already done video or it's a live my friend we are live you, you, are, are, you are talking to me in youtube now uh, you are talking to me live how how you get my skype you got it from youtube right 
Yeah. Okay, as long as you hear it from Sky, from YouTube, that's mean it, the one who was in YouTube is the one you are talking to. Why did, uh, why I'm going to post my Skype in a YouTube which is fake? And we are live. I don't know. No, no. Okay, I so, believe, what do you, so what do you want to say to me? Go ahead. You are a Muslim? Um, no, actually, but I was a Muslim. Okay. Actually, I'm born as a Hindu, but I converted to Muslim because uh, of uh, Chakir Naik and Ahmad Didat because they defeated each and every um, priests and the pastors who debated mm. with them and they proved that uh, Jesus is a prophet not a god mm. or son of god that mm. that made me logic and so I converted mm. however I understood what is evil uh, after converting into uh, the Muslim only me myself and my mom knows that I was converted and a couple of friends Muslim friends mm -hmm. but later on I left Muslim uh, the Islam the reason why I am calling you is uh, even though I seen God and Jesus uh, through my heart and uh, some, sometimes uh, that uh, these questions, right? They are debating, they are asking a proof where Jesus said he's God and uh, asked us to worship him and where God mentioned Jesus is a God. So, so on. This is my question. Every day I'm asking myself and seeking answer because there is a battle going in my mind every day. Okay, let me ask you. you know, one of, when you say when you yeah. say that uh, uh, Zakir Naik and uh, and the dad, you know, uh, they did not meet anyone who knows really. They have the knowledge. Even they are priests. Who care? Who said that if somebody is a priest, he is a person of knowledge? Those people they choose carefully. They would debate who. This is why they will never get close to me. So they choose carefully. It's like, you know, you want to go and play boxing and you want to show somebody that you are so strong in boxing. So you choose one who is not good in boxing. That's as simple as that. But Islam is so stupid. If I ask you right now, what the Muslim they say about Jesus? He is alive or is dead? They say that uh, he was not crucified and he was No, this is not a question. I'm saying, dead. is he alive right now or is dead? He, he is dead, uh, actually. I'm not no, sure about no. that. The Muslim, they is believe that he's yeah. alive. He's alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if Jesus is just a man, why the man, he never died? Why this man only? Muhammad died. Moses died. Abraham mm -hmm. died. You will die, I will die. So, why Jesus is not the one yeah. who died? Yeah, I will answer you. Uh, uh, no, Jackie Naik said that uh, God can create anything he wants in any way like Adam was created in a dust if God what does have to do with my question Adam, what does have to do with my question yeah, I'm, I'm coming to you I, I'm coming to you I'm coming to you yeah God can if God created Adam from a dust why can't God can I uh, know uh, it's God's will right he wants to kill Muhammad he, he gave death to Muhammad but he don't want to give this to Jesus. That's why he didn't give it. That, that that's the point of view of Jack and I. Because I'm okay. But this is but this is a very view. but this is a very silly answer. Because where in his Quran it says what he said, where in the Quran it says that Allah mm. he is he decided to let Jesus live because he created Adam as he wished. What what does have to do with Adam? So this is a very silly answer. This is why you are saying to mm -hmm. me he defeat defeat who this guy he don't defeat he can't even defeat his finger. So Jesus is alive for a reason. Why, uh, if you ask the Muslim, he, they will say, all of them, he will come back, correct? Yeah. Okay, so that's the reason. The reason he will come back. Okay, will come back to do what? According to Muhammad, he will be the judge. So if Jesus will be the judge for all mankind, it says in Hadith, he will be hakaman muqsitan, which means absolute just and justice, judge. So how Jesus is just a man, and he will be the judge of mankind, what do you think? Mm. What do you think? I'm waiting for your answer. No, it, it, it's not making any sense, actually. Not logical. It makes sense only if he's God. No, no, it's not making. How can he judge? Uh, 
people and the other one. What do you mean? Why? Why? What? If he is going to judge, this is what Muhammad said. He will be judge in the judgment day. Every human mm -hmm. being, he will be the judge. Hakaman muqsitan. So how Jesus is going to be the judge in the day of judgment? The Muslim they will say to you, no, no, no. This is not the judgment. Judgment. This is before. It doesn't matter. They said the day of judgment because this one, the judgment day is going to happen. So Jesus will judge who and how he can be just and he can be judge when only God is just. Justice yeah. is a description only can be given to God for no man can be just. doesn't matter how good he is. So no God can judge the people right at that judgment day. No, my friend, are you not listening? No, I mean, no, 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 no person, no human can judge anyone except God. How we can judge? We are sinners. Yeah. How I can yeah, judge yeah, you yeah. if I'm a sinner like you? So who is the one? He is not only a judge. He is a just judge. Mm -hmm. Muhammad was not a just judge. And even we have tons of hadith, even the Quran is speaking about Muhammad doing wrong things. As an example, chapter of At-Tahrim, mm -hmm. chapter 66, verse number one. Muhammad, he disobey his God. So Allah said to him, why are you forbid what is not forbidden? That is not justice. You cannot forbid. You cannot break the law. You cannot fabricate a law. Muhammad, he says, any Muslim I did beat him or slander him or insult him, I made a condition with my God to make it a mercy for him. Muhammad is not just. He's beating people without reason. Jesus he have a reason, there's a reason for him to be alive until now and enter the day of judgment for he is going to come back to be the judge. And this is in total agreement with the with the Bible. The Bible says that Jesus, he is the judge, as Jesus said, and he will be judging all the flesh, which means all mankind. And he was coming back with the glory of his angels. So when Jesus, he come back, mm -hmm. he will say, those who don't believe in me, he will order his angels. Those who don't believe in me, bring them here and slay them. And the Muslim always they quote this verse for us. So Zakarnaik is a liar. He is not quoting the real reason for Jesus to be still alive. It's not about God. He wish you know what? Okay, we need to ask ourselves why God. Who, who if we are watching an American movie? Hmm? Let's make it fun. Okay. We will see in the movie everybody die except the hero. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Well, according to the Muslim stories, Jesus is the hero. <laughs> so. If, if the Muslim they say this is the plan of Allah, it doesn't change any different. That's mean Muhammad is nobody. Because the plan of Allah yeah. that the hero, which is Jesus, is going to live, and the, the, the comparse, the one who just not a number in the movie, he died. The driver, the waiter, the tech, you know, the, yeah. the, the garbage guy, there is a bomb explode and he died. So Muhammad, he went for no reason, his gun, you know, he, because he's not important in the movie. It's not important the story. All the story in Islam is based on Jesus. Because who is going to come back? Jesus. Who is going to judge? Yeah. Jesus. Who is going to even to kill the pig? Jesus. Who is going to break the cross? Jesus. Who is going to kill Shaitan? Jesus. So what Muhammad did? He was busy with Aisha. So when you say to me, Zakir Naik, oh. defeat, you made me laugh, my friend. I was smiling. I was listening. Zakir Naik is a potato. He's, a, he's an idiot. He don't even understand his book. He can't even read his book. He don't even know one single Arabic word. Um, uh, I just else? I'm noting down. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm noting down the words. Uh, could you please help me with the hadith number? Because whenever I got in, no problem. Um, I will, negative I will, I will hadith number Sahih Muslim one five five eight. And this is one very... five five a Sahih Muslim. Sahih. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Yeah. And uh, oh, for this will uh, enough for me, I guess. This I uh, refer this uh, whenever well, I, I can give it to you from Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari two 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 two. Uh, a B two 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 two. Al Bukhari Al two 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 two. Mm -hmm. Which means four two. And you are doing a good job, Christian Prince. If you are not there, I wouldn't get an a true answer, really. 
and I really appreciate you. God bless you. Yeah, and uh, one last question for you, my brother. Um, uh, do you don't afraid that this evil will kill you one day because so of what? doing this? Okay, okay, kill me. <laughs> this is the last thing I'm. <laughs> this is the last thing I'm worried about. <laughs> and actually, that would make even my videos more famous, and my books will be around the world. So, my friend, we are Christians, and we believe that our death mm -hmm. is just a, the beginning of a new journey. So if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? And nobody, nobody, nobody can kill my soul. They can kill my body. So this is what we care for. The Lord, he says, what the benefit of a man? He won the whole world and he lost himself. He lost his soul. So my friend, they focus in the flesh. We focus in the soul and we are victorious. So we have no fear and they are the one who fear us. This is why they ban all my books and everywhere. They ban our videos everywhere. They ban my name everywhere because they are a bunch of yeah. potatoes. They are coward. They are living in fear and they will die in fear. And we are victorious and we are waiting for our hero, the Messiah, the King of King, the Lord, our mighty God, to come down to earth and he will be judging Amen. every man, every woman. Amen. And Muhammad himself, he will go to hell as he deserves. Let me ask you, you just said, I mean, but you said you are not Christian. So do you accept Jesus as, a, as your as your as your Lord and Savior. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I just want to start my conversation by Salaam alaikum. I'm a Muslim, and uh, I just want to, you know, argue in a Muslim point of view. Prove me Jesus is not. Uh, I mean, prove me Jesus is God and all. But however, because I have an issue with the headphone and the audio conversation, so I didn't wish to in uh, salam alaikum and just started that I am an ex-Hindu and ex-Muslim and yes I already converted to um, Christianity and I'm reading Bible and my current uh, uh, chapter is second Kings uh, third third part third chapter I'm today yeah. I have to read but let me I'm give you advice daily. my friend let me give you advice yeah maybe when you were a Muslim you're allowed to lie you just said you accepted Jesus so what you did is not right. You say yay, yay, nay, nay. We don't say I was a, you know, okay, you were a Muslim, I believe you. But you don't need to start a conversation with me claiming to be something. That is not right. Mm -hmm. So as a Christian, be careful because this is the way to go to hell. You cannot fool okay. the Lord. You can maybe fool me. You can lie to me. I do not know you. You do not know me. But you cannot lie to the Lord. So always put in your mind, he can yeah. see me, he can hear me. I can lie to this guy, I can lie to Christian Prince, I can play games, but can I play games with him? I can't. So my friend, be careful, because the gate of hell is so mm -hmm. wide and so open. And this is why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And Jesus says, don't lie. Don't commit murder. Don't cheat. So be careful, my friend. Be careful. Yeah. Take care. Sure, CP. All right. uh, I'm sorry if I'm taking your time. Just give me one last opportunity. It, it, I will not take more than five minutes. Just one last question no for problem. me. I asked this question uh, because I follow YouTube so many. Uh, I'm from India, south down India. My state is uh, Telangana you may be here first time it's Telangana yeah, I so I uh, asked this uh, question to a lot of uh, psychology uh, doctors for uh, expecting a reply from them so the question is this I'm following 10 commandments uh, without any fail mm -hmm. but whenever I see these people who are breaking the commandments I don't know whether it is good for them or bad for them they always uh, look for sex and they always stay at a woman's private part because in india here we don't drive like americans here we have uh, more two wheelers than four wheelers and here the woman wear a sari the dress is called sari s a r w -E, e what what does that mean sorry sari it's it's like a it's a name of a dress you can google it s a r e e okay. all right so that is how here women dress and uh, well, you, you, there are some parts which are visible, some are not. Hmm. If you can Google it, you can find.
find okay, out it's where your, like can... it show the stomach area okay yeah 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 that's a culture actually the tradition right. or whatever right. so we don't see or watch a woman in a um, in a sexual uh, or a private minded but right. these guys if my i'm not married uh, but if whenever my mom or my sister or who sits on back seat on the and we go or ride on a road so these women will sit in a one side not a two side like a like a male mm -hmm. you, you know what i mean mm -hmm. so these guys will follow us and see and stare at the parts they will in the night times they will those guys are what? what is the religion these people these what are these guys muslim guys oh, okay so if we stop and ask why are you following us then they will say we are not following you i am going on the way in which you are already going yeah and that's all okay so now what now we have to do we have to either slow down or we have to pull over on the left side until unless they pass our vehicle once they were passed so we have to again start our journey this is what happening here mm -hmm. and i am getting very angry on them I want to stop them and ask, but I can't do that, right? I can't social police and the social policing is not uh, allowed here. Hmm. And they will directly say that I am not seeing anyone. I'm going on my way. This is what the story they will tell. So how to stop this, CP? How to stop this evil? My friend, I'm uh, the, only, the only way, if you make the women address, not according to the tradition, mm. because those people, they are attached to the meat. You know that like hungry yeah. pu hungry puppies uh, they have low moral so you need to dress in a way to keep them away it's like you know but you what, open, ab what about you the, open the window then? you open the windows and the flies will come so you need to close the mm. window all right so every society has a uh, certain kind of people you know i cannot go yeah. If I go in Saudi Arabia and I have my wife wearing a skirt uh, to, the, to her knee, you know, that's very short. That would be a problem, big problem. So, mm -hmm. uh, but if she do that in USA, nobody even would look, who would care? So you live in an area, you have to see what is right for you and what mm -hmm. is not right. You know, there's some, some, you know, some countries, uh, like if you go to countries like Brazil, so mm -hmm. nobody would look because the, there were people they, when they before they become a christian they used to be totally naked they used to be pagan naked literally so mm -hmm. you need to manage the way you dress the way you go where you go and maybe you should just try to avoid going to the areas where these guys, guys can be you know what you can do yeah cool. yeah but but what i'm telling you what i'm asking you is what about the people who don't know that these guys are looking actually the driver who is driving the vehicle don't know that someone is watching yeah, friend, her what, wife. what you can do the only one who notice it you so as long it's true and this is what you notice then the only way is to, to avoid them how don't let your wife dress the normal traditional clothes you know yeah when i was married i will for sure i know this that the these guys will allow the meat i know that i will cover the meat mm -hmm. but i'm worried about the these uh, people who don't know that these guys love the meat actually the hindus here don't worry are people going... they will know people they have eyes they can tell you know they will know they are not blind mm -hmm. the same as you notice but you know most of people they don't want to go and make a trouble you know the different people are different you know, people. Uh, there are some people. They are hot-blooded. There are some people. They, you know, they just very extremely peaceful. They don't want to go into uh, a fight with with a bunch of rules. As long as they are not doing something, saying something, putting their hands, you know, they will let it go. But for sure, not everybody. So just take my advice. Stay away from them. You know, don't go to the area where those people they can be found. Move to different city if they are bothering you too much. Go to city. Yeah, I moved. I moved actually. I moved to a different location because a couple of years back when I was a Muslim, I lived in a Muslim uh, house. My house owner is a Muslim. Yeah. And uh, he is a sex poet actually. He married a Hindu woman and make her convert into Islam. Mm. And they are perverts really. Very, really very perverts, sinful persons. They yeah. love dominating anyway, others. Anyway, my friend, we, are, we don't judge. Yeah, uh, yeah. We don't judge religion by a person, but we can say that Muhammad himself was evil. So why you are surprised? So, anyway, I want to say thank you for calling me and uh, uh, just be careful. You know, follow the Lord and don't don't break His Mind. command, and let us not to lie any anymore in our life. Right? 
Yeah, sure. I noted okay. down the hadith numbers. I noted down that never lie, and one is the move to a good peaceful area. I already in a peaceful area. My wife from them, and you said ignore when they seeing other women or other family members. I mean other Hindu people, right? So we I can't do not anything. No, you can about warn. Them. You can warn people about something you see wrong, but I mean. But what, they they what, will. They are cunning, right? They are cunning. They cunning minded. They said that I'm going on my way. Yeah, I'm not watching do. her. You see, if somebody's sitting behind me now, and I have a female with me, and he's looking, but he's doing nothing. I look at him. He changed his face. He look, but I what can I do? You know, I'm going to beat him. And it's not worth it. So you know, you, you will get in bigger trouble because even there's no proof that he was doing something. There's nothing. You know, he did nothing. So just avoid it. Be smart. You know, be smart. All right. Okay. Take okay, care. Okay, CB. Take care. Hey, you do. You do. Bye. -bye. All right. Another person. <clears throat> Hello? Mute you too, please. Morning, morning, Christian Prince. Good morning, my friend. Hello, you're talking to Leroy. I'm calling you from uh, Durban, South Africa. All right. Good to have you. Oh, oh yeah, thank you. Uh, because I discovered your channel in 2020 when we were in a COVID lockdown. Okay. And uh, I've been uh, listening to you every day, even your old videos. I, f I think I finished all the videos. I've been watching you every day because I'm... Um, also trying to share the word with my people i'm i'm coming from congo i'm staying in south africa but originally i'm from congo and mm -hmm. in congo especially in this eastern part of the congo we have a, a problem with the islamic state uh, they're taking yeah, the country terrorist. yeah it, terrorist it, yeah yes in the eastern part they, we call them the adf all of them are coming from like Uganda and Rwanda and they're invading other spaces. They've been killing a lot of people in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mm -hmm. So this is why I've been taking your videos. A lot of your videos I'm working on. But uh, the problem is in here in Africa, a lot of people don't know about the Christian Prince, especially in uh, in uh, French countries. They don't know about you. So what we have been trying to do now we are taking your videos and uh, we are translating them in uh, French. So we're taking your videos. Um, I've been even sending you some uh, of my links of my videos because I opened the channel just to try and help my French people. Uh, because in Africa, a lot of French people don't know about Hadiths and Tafsir. A lot of people don't know about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we we're trying to do so thank you so much for the work that you are doing uh, but i'm also translating a lot of your works i'm doing like you know, the interpretation when you're talking in in uh, english i'm translating it to french so i've been working on some couple of videos and uh, a lot of people are liking they love so much your program they love so much your program but i'm I just at the beginning i've only started the last month to translate your programs my friend, I'm very proud of you. And may the Lord bless you and bless your work. And we love our brothers and sisters in Africa. And we pray, may the Lord make your work as a candle and light for your brothers and sisters. So nobody will deceive them, nobody will lie to them. And trust me, you know, don't worry about you just started. One day I said to myself, I'm going to do this. And then, you know, it's funny because even my English is not good, very bad. So especially at that time so like you can if you have faith you can change a lot of things you can change nations faith my friend just have faith and if the lord is with me who could be against me so may the lord bless you and don't forget to share your uh, your name in the chat uh, so people they can click at your channel if you as long as you are translating to different language so people from your country can join you and they can subscribe all right 
oh, okay. Can, can, I, can I give the link uh, to, on Skype uh, of uh, what I've been, the uh, work uh, I'm doing? Uh, all right. Uh, give me the link and I will, I will share it with them. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to send it right now. All right. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, CB. All right. Goodbye.